Yep, I think we are live. Uh, hello, 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 everyone. Uh, I think it will take uh, three to five minutes for other folks to join. But welcome, 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 everyone. Uh, thanks, thanks for joining today uh, on a Saturday evening. Uh, we are uh, hosting Apna uh, today uh, from the product folks. Uh, and uh, I guess the uh, specifically before we start uh, on the problem statement and what exactly Apna do, I would like to thank everyone in the participants who have actually shown their interest and submitted their decks also. The response that we received was overwhelming. I think we received more than 650 plus registrations and uh, 50 plus decks also, which is a huge, huge, huge uh, outcome. Uh, we have... Uh, 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 from Apna, we have Nirmit, who is founder and CEO. Uh, we have Priyank, who is director of new initiatives. We have Karna, who is CEO of Marketplace. We have Karthik, who is CEO of Community. And we have uh, Vaidehi, who is a community PM. Uh, welcome, welcome uh, everyone here uh, on the uh, product folks tear down Apna uh, demo day. Uh, before we uh, jump into the session, uh, I would like to uh, probably have uh, one of you answer specifically on how Apna as a company evolved. And if you can also a uh, bit of a talk about what exactly was the early version of Apna and how they evolved and what you are also thinking about in the future, how it uh, could evolve also. Yeah. So, so I can, I can, I can start that. Uh, so Abhay, thank you for uh, having us and and I'm happy to see this 60 presentation. So we just went through uh, a bunch of the stair downs and some of the ideas are very interesting. And we are actually excited to borrow a bunch of ideas uh, from what we learn. Uh, and, uh, and, and again, the first piece part of Apna's culture is very collaborative. So I know you'd asked one person to join, but given, I think, so we have 10 minutes. So what we can do is we can, I can quickly introduce about uh, Apna, like, what is the goal? Why even build Apna? Uh, and then maybe I can give a quick background around how the product has evolved. And then quickly we'll pass the bait in to uh, to few of the key folks who can just talk a bit about variety of initiatives currently happening at Apna. And we can do that. So, so again, uh, the 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 mission and and vision right for Apna is to connect people to opportunities. And we do this by doing four things. Helping people build digital professional profile. Many of the Apna users are are the rising, uh, 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 like you know, rising working class workers, and um, and they don't have a digital profile. So we want to help them go and build that because that becomes their professional identity. Second, by helping them find the best hyper local jobs, uh, and 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 the third piece is by helping them find the right tribe or the community. See, for all of us, we, we go to a good school. A lot of times we'll go to a great college. We'll have friends. Uh, we'll have family. We'll have our own network. But a lot of times these folks, they don't have the right network. So think about like how wonderful it would be if you're a carpenter and you can find all the other carpenters in a similar area, share new ideas, learn more from each other. And we see a lot of these things happening on across Apna's communities. And last but not the least, upskilling. Uh, we also realize that when people apply to jobs a lot of times, they realize they don't have the skill which a particular job requires. So that is at this point of time, we, uh, we we basically want to play a role to upskill people. Now that piece of the org, we are still building. Uh, the, the, the rest pieces are already, some of them are in the 0 to 1, 1 to 10, and 10 to 100 phase uh, around the organization. Quickly talking about the product and, and, and talking about how the product evolved, right? So, so from, see, building product is like, um, I, I, I always say it's, it's like making music. Uh, you, you cannot make music if you cannot feel that emotion, right? Like, and, and one example which I always give is think about heartbreak, right? If you have not gone through a heartbreak and you are asked to write a breakup song, you cannot do this. You cannot compose music for that. So most important is how do you go and feel every single emotion inside the product? And that becomes the DNA of Apna. And a lot of times people say, you know, Product ke liye 25 rule use karo, 30 rule use karo, doesn't matter. Most important is if you feel in sync with every emotion that a user is experiencing, basically you don't need any formal training. You can figure out how the product works. So, so I think so that becomes the base DNA of how we started Apna. Uh, given, uh, given I wanted to make sure that I'm the right person building this thing. I've been under, I've been a shop floor guy, I've been a foreman, I've been a... Uh, ice cream, I, I, you can call it a waiter, the person who's serving ice cream on a small uh, uh, local uh, ice cream shop. 
I've done merchandising. So I've done a bunch of gigs and jobs just to understand and observe how people are um, are are a using other products are 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 talking about their work so that we could go and build a better product and 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 understand each and every emotion so that is how we started it uh something which apna did which was very different than any other companies have done so far inside the space was introducing community and it is a community that powers the marketplace so so generally most of the players started with the marketplace they started with resumes for example we don't have a resume we have a visiting card which is very unique to apna we have community which powers the marketplace and marketplace which again repowers back the community so it creates a beautiful a uh, virtuous cycle of of two synergies coming uh, straight into action so those were like the few things uh, i will pass the baton to uh, to karthik to talk about communities to karna to talk about marketplace and priyank to talk about what's new at apna um, and 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 what are some new some of the new initiatives which we are uh, doing uh before before i do that just uh, just two pieces i think so uh, abhay had asked like uh, to share like what are one or two frameworks which we use in apna and and two strong frameworks which we'll use is framework for prioritization uh, as a company we strongly believe that prioritization is very important you can do 10000 features but which are the top 3 features uh, which you would prioritize above another and maybe when people are presenting I I know a lot of presentations have a bunch of features. It will be great if you can share like which is one or two features you would like to prioritize because a lot of times it is very easy to believe that you have a lot of engineering bandwidth. As you go and start PMing in real life, you'll realize the the hardest thing is finding engineering bandwidth. You will have ten thousand ideas, but you can only build maybe one or two. And which are the two going to be? That is where the art of prioritization lies. And art of prioritization is function of two things like what to build versus not build. one framework that works very well in what to build versus not build you basically create a world view of what's next what's next um like create infinite probabilities of what's next what's next say for example you're building feature x what will that result into okay because a feature x user is going to do y okay if user is going to do y what is that result going to do? that because of that the recruiter is going to do z and you keep doing that till you go and reach a uh, equilibrium state that just allows you to say that whether you want to build this or not build this because you know how that feature is going to impact in long run is it going to be detrimental because a lot of time some features give you in short term they give you a strong roi but on long run they are detrimental and some features which grow slowly but on long run create a maximum terminal value for the company so that is the first framework which we use is you you basically create like an infinite loop of things how things will uh, uh, kind of flow out and and then it will kind of basically uh, uh like it uh, how when once you reach an equilibrium you know whether you want to build this feature or not the second one is just in terms of prioritization apna is a network effect play so again we use network effect math uh, in the way we prioritize stuff and what does network effect math means for example in apna we have city wide network effect so we try to prioritize things which allow us to create match rate think about this is an example which we generally use think about uber right say if you are uber can be available in 700 cities across the world but if in your city when you go and try to find a ride and you are not getting a uber within the first 7 or 8 minutes of wait time you are not going to wait for it it doesn't matter that uber is number 1 in san francisco or uber is number 1 in new york but aapko mumbai mein ya bangalore mein uber nahi mil raha hai to nahi mil raha it doesn't matter because for uber the network effects are local similarly for apna our network effects are local at a city level a lot of time this uh, the set of users our target segment will find jobs nearby so we prioritize features that allow you to uh, create higher match rate is for a local network effect so that's the second one and and last but not the least customer obsession becomes uh, and i started with that and i'm going to end with that becomes an important thing where we try and understand all the insights uh, we and the best way to observe is we feel like not talking to the customer but like uh, but like just hearing what they are doing just by you know being in the background and observing them how they play with the app or you just become an apna user and talk to another apna user i think so those are the ways which has allowed us to find out the real insights because when you go and talk as apna everybody is going to see in india is the culture is that everybody wants to be sweet to each other so uh, and everybody is going to basically end up uh, like talking about uh, like what they like versus giving you real feedback so i think so these few things has worked out well for us but uh stopping the monologue here uh folks over to you cool uh let me quickly go and give a quick introduction as well right so firstly i think uh, abhay and folks at the product looks thanks for having us over i think uh, been a huge fan of paradigms and uh, 
looking forward to now having apna here and looking at the ideas that i think mostly a bunch of fresh folks bring in is usually non trivial right so uh, we had a ball at least looking at all the presentation so firstly thanks to you folks at the at the product works and secondly for everybody who's on the call who's uh, either uh, submitted uh, with us or the finalist uh, congratulations for being here but we loved at least looking at all the registration so thanks for taking the time out and thinking about a problem we hope uh, we solve for india's sake overall right so uh, quickly to give a little bit more flavor around communities which i lead as a product overall uh, like nirmit said see the overall vision for us is not about jobs is not about here and now thing right it's about connecting people with opportunities and opportunities for a carpenter might mean very different things uh, in terms of gigs etc whereas for a delivery person might mean a job right so we want to ensure that everybody whom we call the rising working class of india we are able to find the right opportunities for them and connect right so for say for example a carpenter nobody is going to list a job for being a carpenter somewhere and then they go and look at it and get gigs right so all of your vocations basically is word of mouth so what we beautifully seen is a carpenter and a painter and an electrician have realized that hey there's a go to market for us together if you get me a lead i will give you a lead etc right so we've seen some of these beautiful uh, organic ways of people connecting opportunities with each other but at a high level see community as an uh, vision for us is to enable peer to peer sharing of ideas thoughts and opportunities right which eventually makes you a better professional so i think to nirmit's point a lot of us are privileged to have our own college network school networks high school networks which i think you default go to to find out opportunities but you will realize that our target segment that we're talking about their network is very very small right and mostly relies on whom they've grown up with or the micro market local community that they live in right so the idea is how do we kind of expand that network for them and make sure that four people they are talking to to find opportunities becomes hundreds and thousands right so open up opportunities that we have through our networks uh, and hopefully for us the professional networking product or communities that we call kind of makes that uh, real for them right in terms of just the grand vision i'll not go into the intricacies one is what we talked about and then talked about right like how does marketplace <laughs> wherever you fail how does a community help you kind of get you a job or an opportunity outcome uh but at least for me the bigger vision that i keep telling people is even in this market only 40% of jobs are formal jobs right like in the indian economy there's still 60% which is going to be non formal jobs in india like i don't know how many are from bangalore there's always going to be a two story a uh, kurumangala fifth block retail store which is going to be looking out for a biller right even if we become the world's best marketplace probably these jobs will never get listed with us right so how do we really crack non formal jobs in india and if we crack that through peer to peer sharing of uh, jobs i'll probably retire at that point and not work for money anymore right like uh, probably that's the world problem to solve at least to begin with in india so that's a, at least the long and short of it i think product ethos nirmit uh, kind of uh, figured uh and touched upon i think the only way to solve this problem meaningfully at scale is being product driven around it right i think we've seen a bunch of people before currently and will continue to try and crack it operationally but we truly think that the way to make a meaningful impact for this problem statement at least in india and then globally is being product driven right and i don't think there's no other way to at scale impact this problem so product is at the core of what we do what we think how we think about solutions etc if there's no product solution to this in the force foresight we don't do that right we have actively said no to a bunch of revenue streams where we could have done it operationally but we wanted it to be product right so that's at least at the forefront and the uh, fundamentals of how we think at apna um, looking forward to a bunch of uh, at least discussions today learning english is one of the core problem statements for us just to put it in context of why we also chose this problem statement right so this is if you talk to anybody in rtg learning english with varying degrees of outcome is the most important outlook uh, outcome for them right and uh, we think we are well positioned to kind of provide a learning and a tangible socio economic outcome for them through this value proposition right and i think this is going to add huge value to the tg so looking forward to all of the ideas and probably even problem solving and figuring out how we solve this together Maybe I'll just pass it over to Casey. Uh, okay. Thanks, Karthik. Thanks a lot. Hey, folks. Uh, really excited to be here and <clears throat> talking to you. Nirmit and Karthik mentioned how like we were super excited as we were going through all your work. So thanks again uh, for doing that and excited to again chat uh, with few people in person over here. So for uh, 
as Nirmit and Karting mentioned, vision and how communities play, I think one one tangible aspect of the whole thing is uh, how they actually get jobs uh, in this market. And what we have learned is actually India is a market of skills and not resumes and uh, logos and brands. People have skills, but they don't know how to showcase that. And what Apna fundamentally believes is we want to enable skill matching on the platform to jobs. So what we are doing in as a part of jobs marketplace is we are building India's first skill graph. What that means is we are breaking down every single job which exists into what skills actually are required rather than what resume or work experience somebody on paper needs to have. To give you an example. If uh, say you want to be an accountant today, we break down what an accountant needs We be, uh, for that, which is, hey, the accountant needs to operate a computer today. He needs to know basic of Excel, maybe some tally, some knowledge of GST and sales tax. So if we break down an accountant into these five things, what we can now do is we can actually match people by doing online assessment every time they apply to the job. And we actually know, hey, this user stands wearing all of these skills or, hey, there are two skills which they still need to learn. And that's, again, our input point to our new initiative, skilling, or even use our community to go help them figure that out. But what this does is it it enables people to actually find so many jobs based on skill, which they never thought of. And to give you an example, say if I was uh, I, if I was doing a telecalling job sitting somewhere, we know, hey, you are good at English. We test you. You have good customer support skills. We test you. We know you can operate some computer. Now we then go into the entire jobs market and look at which jobs these skills are relevant. Hey, if that's the case, you can actually start doing sales job also. You know English, you operate computer, you can talk on phone, you can talk to people. You We open that whole world of sales for you, which a user may not even be thinking today. Uh, but because of the way we are thinking, we are kind of level, helping people expand their sphere and be and expose a lot more opportunities which may not have existed for them. So that's just core to what we are trying to do in jobs marketplace. Uh, apart from that, I, I think Nirmit mentioned uh, being uh, being a company uh, into this. Our vision is that we will be the largest player and we already are in this target place in terms of the number of jobs available. I think that is very core to us. Uh, we take a lot of calls of uh, making sure we make it super easy for even small businesses to list jobs on up now because we fundamentally believe that's in the best interest for our users, best interest in the future for the mission of Afna. So we take a lot of hard calls where uh, we we choose to uh, we choose to uh, go very aggressive in giving the most options to the user and uh, give and connect them with those uh, opportunities. So that's just overall of what we are trying to do and uh, one more thing on the product thinking, which at least I like to do and ask my people is first, uh, we fundamentally believe that go and understand users' problems and pain points. Don't ask them what they want. I think the real, because if you go ask them what they want, they will tell you something which is top of mind, but doesn't, is an incremental thing. And uh, the best example is uh, Henry Ford used to say, right? If you go and he, if he had gone and asked people at back in time, hey, what do you want? They would have said, I want a faster horse. No one would have said that they actually want to build this this uh, car and the car would not have been created if you just go and ask people what they want. So same thing, uh, I would love to see as you talk about it, hey, what pain points you are trying to address and then go find the best possible solution ever to address that pain point. And, uh, and then obviously you go validate back with the user how it works, but we sh that's how I like to see, uh, are we actually solving the pain point or not? So something I uh, would love to see as we go through some of the awesome work. And a lot of you have done an amazing job on it. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, with that, I'll pass it on to Priyank uh, to chat more about a lot of exciting new initiatives we'll be thinking about. Thanks, Casey. Uh, uh, I'm very much happy to see all the submissions that have come in. Like I enjoyed the questions that had been coming up on the over the last weekend. People have really thought through the solutions around and put in effort. It showcases in the kind of questions that they have been asking. So we'll keep on sharing lots of tidbits information about how we do things at Apna and what are we looking at. Uh, just a short note, skilling is definitely one of the initiatives that we are looking at now. 
So this becomes very important uh, uh, for us to gather the information and make sure, like understand how uh, get a larger crowdsource idea about how things people look at it from the always a fresh pair of eyes outlook is definitely going to help. So uh, Abhay, over to you now, like we can just continue the session. Like uh, just yeah. one last thing to add over here would be key. This uh, initial introduction, we wanted to keep a little bit elaborate. The idea being key, this gives some kind of a cheat sheet to the presenters now, like what the evaluation and what is the going on in minds of people who would be evaluating the, the judges' mindset. They just kind of get it like around what to last minute tweak, last minute tweaks if somebody wants to do. Like they have now idea what we are looking for. So yeah. all the best folks and uh, we can get started. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. All the best to uh, participants. Just a quick uh, uh, rule uh, introduction. We will have uh, five presentations today. Uh, each presentations uh, will each presenter will be allowed to uh, have a ten minutes presenting time, and then uh, two to five minutes for the Q and the session. And to people who are currently in the uh, uh, who are currently joined as a viewers, if you have any questions that you uh, may get uh, at least from the participants who have been submitting or presenting their ideas or in case you have any specific questions for apna as a product feel free to put it in the chat section i'm uh, pretty sure even uh, nirmit karna priyank karthik whether he they themselves may not be able to come in the same platform same stage for two hours once in once in a week or once in a two weeks time frame also so it's a really really great to have all of them on board in a single platform um yep with that i'll just share my screen i just created a picker wheel we can just create our first uh participant from there yeah yeah just let me know if you can see my screen yeah. yes yep Yep, so we have Soham. Soham, if you can quickly raise your hand, I'll just give you access to the stage. Hey, yeah. so we can see you, we can hear you. Uh, you can present the screen. I'll just give you uh, uh, eight minute. I mean, I'll give you a reminder on eight minutes uh, so that you okay. have some orientation on time. Yeah, yeah just a minute. Yeah, we can see your screen if you can. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, I've lost. I'm not able to see anyone. Once again, just try it again. Once again. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll give you. Yeah. We can see your screen. You can put it in a full screen mode and start presenting. Uh, I'm not able to see anyone, but yeah, yeah, it's okay. I mean, you can present and at the end of the session, you can stop sharing and then do the Q&A. Sure. So yes. my screen is visible. Am I audible? Yes. yes. Yeah. So quick introduction. Hi, my name is Soham D'Souza. Good evening to one and all. I'm currently working as a business consultant and product manager at Dr. Eddie's in Hyderabad. I've done my MBA from NITI Mumbai and I completed my undergraduation from the Institute of Chemical Technology Mumbai. I really enjoy meditation and playing the piano. So that's my introduction. Let's start. So uh, this was a slide that is a problem. Dissection slide was one of the most important scaffold on which I based the entire presentation with because it was very important for me to limit my thinking when I'm doing this solution designing. So the mission of Apana is to connect talent with opportunity. Now, when I have to do this, the goal basically remains that I have to be the best marketplace, best lead generation marketplace. Now, this was very crystal clear in my mind through the AMI 
with Priyank that we, we that we have to be the best lead generation marketplace. Now, to be the lead best lead generation marketplace, I analyze this problem both from the supply side and the demand side because these are the two push and pull levers that is going to draw the entire uh, mechanism of our making our vision statement. So, how do you become the best lead generation marketplace? You can become a best generation lead generation marketplace when you're able to accurately map uh the supply with what your demand requirement that is what your hr requirement what the workforce requirement is you can match it with your supplies now to do that to be a good lead generation market you need to have a quality lead generation marketplace so that it becomes an iterative loop and for that reason technical skills and english communication are two important things i scoped out of technical communication because that was beyond the scope of the problem uh with the primary reason that uh, each candidate is able to uh, aspire uh, to apply for an aspirational job and is able to do well in the current job that it is. And a very important thing that I would like to emphasize is uh, the problem statement demanded that we focus on groups, connect and one is to one. These are the primary features in which I had to uh, solution my thing. So it gave me a good insight that I do not have to build a Duolingo like application. That's not what Apna is. I do not want to build a cake like application. And these were, me, these were my end goals with the growth levers, the engagement and retention. So these are certain archetypes I mapped. And this is not just, I'm not just talking from thin air. It's actually I've empathized with my customers, with my problem, with my users, because I actually worked in an ed tech company where I was taking care of business development and sales prior to my MBA. And I actually managed a team of telecallers to do uh, to do the cold calls for an ed for my ed tech company. So there, here is Priya from Maharashtra. She's just become a mother of a newborn baby. Uh, she's left the job uh, because uh, of her family commitments. She is a telecaller already. She's a telecaller in the ed tech sector. Now she's looking for another work from home job, uh, which is in telecalling. And she knows that if she wants to be in ed tech, which requires calling to parents from ICSE, IGCSE background, you need to be good in English. So that's why I've written a statement in Marathi. Her aspiration is to go to bigger companies in telecalling. So I focus this PPT on three things, telecallers, delivery agents, and sales working in three primary cities, that is Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore. This is based on the inputs that we got from the Apna team. Second is Virat. Virat is from Delhi. He's just completed his ITI. He's looking for a stable job. And he realized that in the pandemic, delivery boys are have a fairly stable job security because whether it's a lockdown or not delivery people will always be buying food or e-commerce to your doorstep he realized that and he can drive a vehicle he cannot speak english at all third is rahul so why i took rahul because he reminded me of a senior of me in sales who was just a become graduate had a great amount of experience was towards a higher side because generally i wanted to put a higher age person because they are also looking for a job change that's why i kept his age at 38 he's out of job currently he has experience in sales, but he he's from Bangalore, he's from Connecticut. He, he he wants to improve his English communication skills to find better economy. Now it's also important to analyze the user persona architect from the demand side. So I took three examples of Burger Queen, Tomato, and Haiju. So Burger Queen is looking for a, a sales manager who is proficient in English, reading, writing, and speaking. Tomato is looking for someone, a delivery agent. He should not have that great of an English skill, but he should be very good in basic English reading and speaking. And Hijus. Hijus is a ed tech company that is looking really for telecallers who can call parents because ed tech is a premium segment. They're looking for people who are really good and proficient in English who can call HNI uh, parents in the country. So these were the three demand and supply side. So I'll keep going from demand and supply because we need to weigh both these things. So then I actually went undercover. I made a fake profile as Ravi Kumar over the last two weeks. I spent hours uh, after office in just trying to stimulate these conversations with real people and this is actual screenshots which i've made as an undercover uh, person in the apna app and i saw that in the english speaking group which is a current uh, avenue for the people to learn english there are random discussions happening people are confused where do you start with they are confused am i learning sufficient english skills for my job and am i improving and certain times they are also very feeling unsafe, especially female candidates. Is this the right person who to call? Because they are giving random. If you want to learn English, please call me on this. So the pain point which I felt if I was a person who had to actually sign up and take a job, I'm I'm stuck in a lot of chaos. There's unstructured group dynamics and one crore plus group people. That's like a huge number. 
right? So I did a mutually exclusive and collective, uh, collectively exhaustive framework to me see all the root causes so that I'm not overlapping any of them. So one thing it's unmonitored peer learning, learning path not defined. I don't know whether I'm improving and whether I'm learning rightly. And there's less trust-based learning in this process. The second feature which I had to in the first in the groups network, I did a thorough analysis that connects in one to one. So who do I connect with? Right? Who is a peer that will give me a right perspective? I tried messaging few people. Hi Ganesh, I really want to learn English. Please reply, awaiting your response. He went cold. Right. So I realized that if I was as a dummy, I was pretty that many people would face this, that the connects, which is the primary heart, one of the primary networking products of Apna, is leading the person to not finding uh, who to contact for the right base. Now, from a recruiter pain point, that is when I'm, if I'm an HR from Tomato, I'm applying for a, uh, I, I'm posting a job, I'm getting asked whether I, whether the candidate should know no English, Toda English, good English, fluent English. If this is in Hindi, and if it is in Bangalore, the option would be Solpa English, Solpa English, a little Kannada, a little in Kannada, a little English. So this is an ordinal scale of measurement, right? This scale, what is the difference between Toda and good English? Can we quantify that? Because the major outcome of this PPT is to mathematically understand what is the learning outcome. And also there is no assessment based candidate filter as an HR. It is a big disappointment for me. Like for me, Toda and good would have a very gray line and good and fluent also has a gray line. So that was one classical classification issue that I noticed in this connect. So just represented it with this mean confusion, confusion here for both the candidates who are on the group as well as a one to one. Then I did a prioritizer prioritization uh, analysis. What is the impact to Apana and what is the impact to the user? Because this is a marketplace. Both these two things impact the business. If the users are disappointed, the business gets impacted. So that's when I realized which is something that I really need to focus on. So that led me to two things. The first pain point is redundant leads with no skill map. That is going to really disappoint the demand generating people there. That is the HR. Uh, the recruitment side of it. If they're not getting good quality leads, we boss, we are not going to be a good marketplace lead generating thing, right? And second, from a user side, if there is no stickiness in the product, there's chaos, unstructured group di dynamics, my user side, that is the supply side is going to be affected. Now I cannot have both these two things sitting at a high level, high impact and high impact to the user and high impact to the business. A, a slightly lower priority, uh, which is not that big of an impact is whether unstructured peer learning is going to impact. Now this, if we keep it ticking, it's a ticking time bomb that, bomb that we are sitting on, which may go into the second quadrant. And the last low priority issue is the skill classification. That is a Thoda English, Solpa English aspect, which is not as big as a priority as the first, the second quadrant represents. So I did a solution design. So as a process consultant, I like to see things from a solution point of view, from a block, from an entire network point of view. So this is a network that I am suggesting. Uh, the first thing after given that the person selects a job it is very important that the person takes a baseline. So baseline is the only way in which you can quantify any learning outcome. So I did a lot of research. I went through a lot of research papers to understand uh, the importance of baselining in any educational intervention. So without taking up, you cannot rely on the user. How good are you in English? Because everybody, because the market is highly aspirational. In the tire to city, everybody is very aspirational in English, but they cannot justify for themselves how well they know it. So that's why taking a baseliner is ultra critical for measuring the learning outcome, right? Once a person has taken a baseline, we publish the learning path. Now, these are the two features that I'm suggesting that is Apna prepare, job prepare path and Apna English master path, which I will go in detail. The Apna job prepare path is focused on specific English learning, whereas the Apna English master part is for general just as a gradual level learning English and the goal based journey is for the Apna part, whereas a leader leaderboard gratification is something that is going to be the carrot for that. And this I purposely focus on creating an iterative loop. That is, they take the test, they go through, they take the baseline, they go through the specific job learning, complete the deck, take the skill qualification result, which gets published that this person is certified. And then again, they go back, they want to retake the test and prepare. Now that if the person is at particular level X and he goes to 2X level, then that means the second iteration happens that he goes not only to select his job, he goes for higher aspirational jobs as well. And for the HR perspective, also the loop that ends start, the HR inputs 
on a basic mathematical matrix what is the skill proficiency that the person that we are looking for right and that leads to hr checks yes this path is complete so this has a higher probability of conversion which leads to better lead generation marketplace more leads the hr will be satisfied posting more jobs and this again this loops keep on repeating and creating loops are very very important for any marketplace based application this is what i i, I personally opine now how do you uh, do an analysis of the product so cefr common european framework of reference should be one of the most ideal and commonly used english any language proficiency benchmarking so this can be used this cefr framework a1 a2 b1 b2 like a delivery agent is an a2 a sales and bd is at a c1 so this oh, just a heads up you have two minutes yeah so i am the second part that i'm talking about the learn english group which is the one of the most important groups because groups are the heart of it so because of this segregation my proposal is to divide the groups into three phases that is the learn follow and practice so that we can categorically define the learning outcome so if a person clicks on the learn aspect he will be directed to a certain deck of cards uh, be vocabulary cards speaking cards he listen to something and view the leadership dashboard the second will be follow where the influences of apna would be there and the third would be practice so rather than having everything right now in one thing my suggestion is to segregate this at a very first principle level according to the learning outcome the second aspect that i'm suggesting is we have an apna prepare feature that along with the apply the person can click it which takes him to the second there is apna job prepare deck where he is doing the skill assessment right and so this is going to be a good pull that person will realize ki this job these are the things uh, that i need to learn in english right and the third suggestion that i'm doing is apna those lab which is a bot currently we can use this bot to simulate mock interviews and this is nothing but a subset of the apna prepare thing so the bot feature right now i try to stimulate right and uh, this could be a very good interview conducting feature and the videos also will be shown so coming back last slide how do you measure adoption metric one is learning efficacy what is this is the best uh, i've done lot of i've seen lot of research papers in learning i realize that the apna test skill code minus the baseline skill upon the hours spent on the deck is a very good mathematical way of checking learning efficacy then the intervention efficacy is number of jobs applied after preparing after that person has gone through our content material of decks upon the number of jobs this will help us see what we have done it will give us good feedback loop to the product manager is it really intervening in better jobs outcome and the stickiness which is our normal classical metric to see the engagement from a adoption metric point of view aspirational job i have created this matrix called a job ladder efficacy which will tell us if a person was at a1 how many jobs has he applied in a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 upon the total number of jobs so this will help us solve the second quantitative problem that is how will you quantitatively measure the jobs outcome in your particular product and third is from the hr so it's not only you're measuring the metric from the uh, 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 supply side you are also seeing the hr which is the classical nps score ki how likely are you to recommend that we have so, to, yeah yeah it's, a, it's almost time yeah yeah so i can stop sharing yeah 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 thank you so much so so um for uh, sharing your ideas uh, what i like the apna prepare uh, the prepare button was really a very simple thing but a very powerful thing that you introduced over there uh, would like to understand a little bit more around like say given a chance to uh, develop it further what are your thoughts like would it be coming for every job would it be for brand name jobs or how would you take it forward like uh, in the roll out plan can you yeah. detail it a little bit more you know, just a two or three Th um, thank you for the question priyank so first we focus on jobs which really require english which is telecallers delivery agents and and uh, sales and marketing we there are lots of other job painters carpenter first let us solve the problem for either one of this take loop right put a prepare button and put a basic deck a vocabulary deck or a, a reading card something and see how many people are clicking it and going there and spending time based on these iterative loops as a short term solution we see that how many people are actually and what is the stickiness uh, generated through the stickiness metric and once we do this use case do this uat then we will realize whether how do we extend it to some, it could be tomorrow we are doing technical courses we collaborate with a technical skill based company to basically run skill based courses on this app 
right so we can see this prepare button may not only be used for english right it could be used for anything like tomorrow i want to learn carpentry i want to be a skill set like apna is also collaborate i was seeing the youtube is collaborate national skill development corporation that the government agency tomorrow you want to do certain skill based certificate the government comes here this is my certifications why don't you plug it in your in the prepare so this is a game changer button we start small we do a small uat test case we see of the feedback we do, we target two to three jobs currently and then we go down and see whether we can extrapolate this so right now we shouldn't be doing this feature for everything we make a small feedback loop we do a uat and see exactly how will this turn out to be so so him just an uh, additional question there just to pull that thread along right like say for example we have a prepare that's fair now how would you uh, figure out how to experiment on the delivery part of it right like how will you actually deliver outcomes like i hear you on flashcards etc so uh, from your discussion on either the users or on the english side what's your hypothesis of how do we deliver that outcome do you think a flashcard format is going to work or do you think it has to be some instructor led or based on your understanding what is yeah. your hypothesis and how would you test that yeah uh, thank you for the question karthik this is pretty interesting question how do you test that so i did a benchmarking I, i couldn't put that in the slide because that would be in the appendix so i did a bench, i downloaded a lot of english speaking applications from the internet including duolingo to english conversation to fluenza to multiple apps i saw which was really good like if i am a native speaker and i told myself i am i my mother tongue is hindi i realized that one of the basic ways in which we can do that is actually putting in the voice aspect in that that's when they'll be learning right so the voice is something which gives a confidence like i may know a lot of vocabulary but if i'm not able to convince that person that boss i can speak good english conversational english is something that many people do not understand and they think that vocabulary building is everything so i didn't write it purposely as vocab builder i kept it as flashcards it could be anything right it could be a mock conversation it could be introduce myself right or it could be so one is basically they get some fundamentals to speak something they need material so and the second is uh, the best way is to do voice right so voice is what i personally felt that that is one of the best ways in which a person will read so you put in a voice clip you ask that person hey you repeat this after me you put in a voice clip again you play a table tennis with that person tell him repeat this after me right or you ask you give them a voice clip you tell them give a reading comprehension after that right so voice is much better than vocabulary because that is what is tested in a delivery job right you give a dummy phone call right boss where are you i am living in bangalore have you reached this yesterday yes sir so that is that and you give them a prototype this is how the ideal response will be and they so the best way to learn language is to keep repeating a native speaker you keep repeating that native speaker that's why i'm not very fancy on vocabulary cards because i don't see that somebody learning a uh, uh, spoken english by that so our goal is very clear we iterate with a voice based approach i did not go into detail because that would be a little bit out of scope and it will lead me to making a duolingo sort of thought process so i just kept this at a high level yeah got it so your hypothesis is um by category by what is required you think voice based practice and learning is the way to go is that absolutely. the right articulation absolutely got it got it got it sounds good yeah sounds good thanks so i think uh, any other questions uh, yeah sorry there is a way first of all Great presentation, so whom I love the energy that you had, right? I saw that you did a lot of research on the user side or the applicant side, right? What were the couple of insights from a recruiters or a you know employers end that you could gather? And yeah. How have you incorporated that in your um, solutions? Yeah. So I I did I called some of my relatives uh, rather uh, to be precise I called two people. right not some two people so one of them was my uncle who's a chartered accountant uh, chartered accountant who has his own proprietorship firm and he needs people from bcom background to do article ship or to, to do basic accounting so i asked him how do you do it so what is the pain point in singhi said yes english is very important it's a front facing job he has to uh, lies with clients and he said that right now i don't use any app i go through references like if soham sends me okay i take that candidate ahead and go ahead 
so that was an inside i realized ki said his requirement was not great we say yes it's tough but i go with my first and referral but if there is certain things where i can evaluate across country and tomorrow if he's planning to expand then this would be a great feature second is i spoke to one of my art of living colleagues uh, she runs a business educational business and she is recruiting receptionist right now like and she kept she told me that uh, we just discussed she said ki i am facing a lot of problem because i am people are coming to the interviews but then that's when i'm realizing how good they are when i ask them because they have to call icsc parents igcsc parents uh, for cold calls on the ground i realized ki after and the so much of effort like the cv is great experience is great but how do i voice test that person so that was something which like if you could do a so that's when i got in ki if i on the profile itself a agency like apna has verified whether their speaking skills are good they basic level job related thing then she like ki my job will be is right now she has still not found a resource like hey, so many girls come but then i realized they can't speak in good language they're speaking in uh, vernacular language which is not that convincing of broken english so that these are the two primary insights i got from the supply side the recruiter side and the demand side i just went on my previous edtech experience got it got it that's very helpful thanks a lot so i'm just one last question i don't know why we are running out of time or not keep us honest to the timelines one question right like i love the idea of putting the prepare button there right just a pressure testing question like if you put it on the jobs marketplace side i am actually in the current stream of quickly applying for a job and getting through to the job side of the things right do you think a prepare there will you be able to deliver an outcome for them quickly or where do you think Uh, how long do you think yeah. we are going to take to deliver this outcome because yeah, people so, on the marketplace are yeah. going to be here and now looking for a job Absolutely. right so how do you marry the two so first uh, very i i was stuck on this question should i propose it or not but then i realized that prepare button is not a compulsory button where they have to go through for the skill certification if they go to it see if you don't click it's not going to hamper or have any ramifications on your job application you can very well go directly go and apply call the hr person recruit but this prepare button is giving me an additional layer of security for me that i increase my probability of learning so if i want to image i am out of job i have a family to run i want to immediately go and get this sorted i want a job i am not going to wait for that entire skill test right because it also could be i could make some relative take the skill test for me right uh, some random person can come and take the skill test so my job is it's not do this then do that so you can directly go and apply for the job but this see, because see i was uh, hearing nirmit's uh, uh, talk on nsdc he said ki it's a the heart of the business is connects that is he gave the example of priya a nurse right she went out of the immediately she got a nurse job then the iterative loop she again came and referred more people right so that stickiness was that he gave the example of jave who ran, who was a delivery agent went out of job saw somebody on the connects group who was selling kishmish and he said let's collaborate and he's now making youtube videos on this thing so that was an iterative loop so our main job is is prepare becomes an iterative loop like if they don't get that job they say boss maybe let me try going back to that button maybe there could be some rationale behind why these guys have created that button i go click there i learn certain skills and let me reapply so if the candidate get rejected also we can highlight a boss one reason could be that you have not clicked on that button so this is not a mandatory clickable function i put that because i wanted to that pull to come to learn because if there is no pull you can't tell them boss yes you could right so that was my rationale got it understand so uh, thank you so much for the prepare button is revolutionary i think so we will you will i think that's one thing which as soon as we are going to the deck we saw that this is something we we want to borrow for sure and we want to put it i think it's going to be very interesting yeah thank you yeah see i think one one just thought right as as you think about it um um as you build a feature it's just super important to figure out whom you're building it for right and it's not a distraction for others and as you think about it do pressure test what is your customer segment and which injection point makes a lot more sense right and and i think two three ideas you can think about as trade offs is do i bring it when someone fails the first assessment right is that more a high intent right and then it becomes a little more relevant versus showing it front and center then people get confused which is the primary cta right yeah. am i supposed to go through prepare because people don't know what it is right and what might happen is for people who are confident also 
now you are probably seeding the fact that saying maybe i should go through a prepare and then come back to this etc right so just be mindful of of that as well just as just as feedback as you think about it thank you karthik yeah pretty valid point yeah and 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 so i'm last but not the least one feedback in terms of i think so you had a lot of things on the slide it'll be, it would have been good if you could prioritize ki these are two things which are most important and and maybe for also also other presentations you can prioritize because you can build 10 ideas but which are the two things you really really want to prioritize yeah so and, i actually had this prioritization matrix as user price framework but i didn't i skip through it so the first is up apna prepare button and the second hmm. is segregating the group the english speaking group ko teen hisso mein segregate karna chahiye that is like very important one crore people you cannot have a unorganized fashion people saying right. i love you folks right. Right. Morning, that is the next update yeah. i think so you will very soon see a so these are my two priority apna prepare button and the group segregation and and if you are any one way you are segregating by i think so uh, practice and uh, okay. and and, and, yeah. and the um, uh, learn right learn yeah. and practice what will be other ways you can segregate this group i'm just curious if there are other cuts you want to put which which would be other cuts you would put uh, uh so currently i mean uh, one way is removing the influencers on one stream and the normal chat group on the other stream because now if influencer the english experts and the bots are coming together i i am confused right so we have the apna certified people on another stream on another feed and the normal people here so that the toggle is clear i know ki this is approved like this guy is not giving some random sentence correction question right got it thank you thank thanks you. thank you everyone thank you thank you thanks thanks so yep thank you we'll quickly move to the next participant and I'm just sharing my screen Yep, we have Prigu Sarah as a second participant for today. Prigu, if you can raise your hand, I'll just quickly give you access to the stage. Prigo, I've invited you to the stage. If you can accept that as a response. I think. there has to be some technical issue we maybe we can uh, move to the next candidate and have that presentation later i just share the screen Yep, we have Manoj. Manoj, if you can quickly raise your hand, yeah, Manoj is here. Hey, Manoj, we can see you. We can hear you. Uh, uh, let me quickly share my screen. Yeah, I'll just give you a quick reminder at the eighth minute. so let me know if my screen is visible yeah cool yeah uh yeah happy to be here so i've been following apna's journey from a while so i've been following nirmit on linkedin so his post on like recently they also came to chennai coimbatore so i'm very happy so i'm from coimbatore 
So I'm Manoj. So I'm a 2021 grad. So I recently started my product journey. So I work at delivery as a product analyst. Uh, so this is a quick intro about Apna. Like really, it's a marketplace for blue collar jobs. It's powered by communities. So two users, segments, employers who want to like recruiters who want to hire candidates and job seekers who want to get a job. So this is a problem statement. Like we want to like. Help uh, users learn English through Apna's networking products. So, a quick research on what I did. So, basically, I went to some groups and told like, "Mujhe English learn karna hai," but I did not get a proper response. I also read some of the reviews, and uh, other some users have talked to. So, I talked with a known recruiter who have used Apna, like basically for hiring admission counselor and receptionist. So, he's a businessman. He owns a hotel, schools, and all. so uh, one good thing like he, he had a very good experience especially when apna suggest the uh, cards like cards of the candidates and after some time you have to pay for the uh, additional candidates a kind of a good experience he had but one thing he wanted is a kind of uh, uh, let's say he he wants a kind of uh, badges that says okay this person knows english and tamil this person knows english and hindi and what is the level of uh, accuracy on that like spoken and all and uh, next is uh, a user who was looking for a job and i referred him to apna so he was a person who has been looking for a job from a longer time so i had just referred apna to him and he was able to get some interview calls so i was very happy for that so yeah so i've broken down the solutions into three parts so one is learning english from communities from short videos and learn english speaking from one is to one mentorship so these are my user personas so i've mainly focused on like kind of people who who have like diploma and kind of degrees and want to get a job and english is acting as a barrier for them to get those jobs so this person rajiv rajveer is looking for a part time job in telecalling but he wants to support his family too but uh, the pain points he has is he don't know how to get that job and he tries to apply at multiple sources but don't know whether it's a like a trusted source or not and he also wants to improve his communication skill which is not able to find a good trusted source in his surrounding and next is he works as a sales boy in a local bakery pranjal but he wants to go at a good corporate level like fmcg companies and all where he want to work in business development and sale uh, but he lives in a village he is not able to upskill himself uh, without any proper guidance to learn english and she is a teacher and who wants to teach and prepare for other exams so she wants to learn english and because of that she can crack other government exams and get a good english teacher job so i just went through okay what is a user goal and currently how are they achieving that so what are the solutions they are using it now and how could apna help it to do that so currently they want to learn english in their mother tongue but youtube other platform it's quite difficult for them because it's not curated and apna we have lot of people from different regions in a community who know english so we can leverage those people to help others and second is people need motivation to practice communication in english so learning a language is not easy requires a lot of consistency so here they try to get self motivated and consistent but they are not so with apna we have a community based learning where we learn together with other people so it gives us more motivation and next is they want to earn money and get a job that's their outcome of that they search online for job but they don't get but apna has a curated uh, job list so which will help them to do that so just a quick journey of how would user come to the app so they might come from regional social media platform or uh, seeing other ads uh, and also to referral so they sign up uh, so they get acquired they sign up for the app they fill the basic details we get revenue when they get a job or retention they actively engage in the community refer their friends etc so let me dive deeper into the solutions so these are the three solutions so first is apna learn so apna learn is a short video learning feature where we have short videos will be posted in where english is taught in the regional language so uh, why why a short video learning platform uh, because if you see the adoption of short videos like reels uh, moj chat chat etc there are lot of people from different regions especially india is a country where there are lot of regional languages and uh, they are using those platform 
So if you have something similar that would help people learn English, it would be very easy for users to adopt their habit because they have already been using such platform. Uh, so how will it work? So basically, we have a set of curated resources. One is either we can start testing it by curating good resources from other places like YouTube and all. And once like we see some traction and user getting their goal achieved, we can start creating our own content. So next is uh, how will we measure? So video watch just per user per day and number of people using Apna learn for getting a job and engagement, which will be measuring uh, like monthly. I think we lost him. Yeah, I think we just, let's just wait for one or two minutes. See if he gets his internet connection. Done. Meanwhile, uh, he joins. We can take a few questions from the uh, chat. So Ravi has Haji Manoj is here. Let's 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 get it first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, no, so I, you can you can represent. Actually, uh, your screen is not visible right now. So can I know like where did we lost? Where did you guys lost me? The Abdalan you were at, explaining uh, you know, metrics you were explaining. Yeah, yeah, we lost you at metrics. Okay. So Apna Learn, so basically the metrics would be the video watches per user per day, number of people using Apna Learn for getting a job, and engagement like likes, comment, which will be measuring it monthly. Next is how it works. So basically we'll a tab for Apna Learn where people can go and select a language in they which they want to learn English, and then they can start learning English. So why specifically regional languages? I've talked to a lot of users who are struggling to get a blue collar job in the skill force. The problem, the barrier is learning English in the, in the regional language. So it's not just learning English, but learning English in a regional language, which would help them to upskill themselves more faster and easier. Next is learning communities. So as I told, I'm just splitting this into two parts. So one is the general communities you have, other is the learning communities. So these are the places where people can learn English in their regional languages and they can join the communities in whichever they want. And how this will happen is each community will have a mentor and a community manager who verifies and allows only serious learners into the community. So this will solve the issue of like, let's say, when we have more TG, the exact target audience with the same goal in a community, the community grows together as people will have the same goal and they'll help each other to learn more. So we can have some kind of verification, like saying like, where are they? What are their details? What is their goal of learning English and all to allow them into the community? So next, how will we measure it? So daily active users in the community and number of people getting a job uh, uh, on the total number of people who join the community, engagement messages, doubt submission, which will be measuring it weekly. So these are some of the, Key features. So one is there's a mentor who posts lessons, quizzes, short video assignments daily. So why daily? So we, we would have made a course or kind of a structured part, but learning a language, uh, like we cannot measure it. So we cannot say like, I learn the English in uh, 10 days or I become a master in a master in English in 20 days, but it's not achievable. So we need to practice a language to learn so that uh, we have a good fluency in that. Next, participants can participate in contests, assignments, and earn coins and get their doubts resolved. So basically, they need to, uh, when they participate in these contests, so let's say I divide into three parts inside a community, learning, quizzes, leaderboard, doubts. So paid means paid in terms of apna coins. So basically, when you more the engage, when you engage more in the community, you get more apna coins. And with the help of apna coins, you can ask your doubts uh, you can get one is to one mentorship, etc. So this creates a loop in helping people to uh, make more engagement and also use that engagement made coins to learn more. So here's where mentor posts, there'll be quizzes, there'll be leaderboards based on the assignment.
assignment quiz quiz submission and there will be doubts where people can uh, see others doubts which are asked but they need to uh, like use their apna coins for that next is learn spoken english from mentors so using the one is to one feature of apna so this will be an extension of the apna connect app so where we need to identify the educated people who are willing to help other community members to learn english uh, so basically like use cases user wants to get feedback on his english communication skill so as soon as they engage they can use their apna coins to talk to a uh, mentor or connect one is to one so here we have curated the people who want to help others so that they need not search through other random people like whom can i ask my doubt we curate them we help them these are the people who are ready to help you uh, so how will we measure number of people earning coins for mentorship service so as a result engagement increases and number of people of, interact just a quick reminder you have uh, less than 2 minutes okay so number of people who are interacting with mentors repeatedly so this more than size monthly is what i consider a good and they can go to apna connect select mentor tab they can earn coins and then interact with the mentor so how i have prioritized so the journey is you can learn at community learn more at apna learn practice and get feedback from mentor earn badge that gets in the visiting card with level and get a job so here basically apna learning community is the first priority for me second is get one is to one mentorship third is apna learn the short video platform so value denotes the customer value complexity is in terms of implementation so why this one first because we already have communities so user adoption becomes easier so these are the outcomes so increase peer to peer engagement due to focus learning communities english learning getting a job of user is active more community engagement due to gamification using apna coins and increasing usage of apna connect due to one is to one mentorship so from a recruiter side the recruiter wants to hire people who are ready to learn who are ready to upskill themselves but know some foundation so uh, we will refer frequent learners based on their apna coin earnings and this will act as a premium service we say okay these are the regular learners and you can hire them so this will act as a additional source we can say something like that press release so english seeko or job le lo so don't miss a chance to learn english in native language and get a job download apna and some sure. suggestions so so one is creating awareness and importance about learning english telling users how we help them to achieve their goal uh, and discoverability of medal so basically i saw you give some medals to people but it's not much visible on the home screen uh, so you have to click on a user and you see the medals but it says uh, participates in hr uh, test but we can have something like how to achieve them uh, basically a short video or some a uh, user journey showing them how to achieve those medals uh that's it thank you thanks manoj <clears throat> so uh thanks manoj thanks for walking through the presentation uh i really like the your insight around how people engage via video i think that is definitely quite quite true uh i think one question i had for you was uh, as you thought about the learning journey one like what what would you say is the core motivation uh for the user to do this and then based on that how would you make sure they remain motivated right a lot of learning programs uh, the biggest issue is people drop off right more completion rates are pretty poor in most edtech products so one wonder person what is the core motivation you think for the user and how would you make sure they continue that journey and don't drop off okay so our main goal is to become a place where we help users to get jobs and also recruiters to hire good candidates right so when we make people learn more so we'll tell them if you learn more we'll give you more apna coins and your profile will be showcased like a in a best priority level so they have this motivation okay if i learn i'm not only learning but i'm also getting a upper hand to get a job compared to others so this is the first motivation and from the recruiter side obviously they are looking for learners so any any job product management blue collar white collar everything needs upskilling so let's say i learned something i have a btech degree and i'll not learn more i'll do the job it doesn't work so they have to learn more so always any recruiter is looking for lifelong learners or frequent learners uh, so that act as a motivation for a recruiter so it's quite uh, simple like the thing 
no very valid so you think uh, gamification of coins is one thing you will do and showing it to recruiters just yeah. a, just pushing further on that thought today coins can be earned by hey like engaging on the platform or etc etc right and now if coins are also earned by english how would you then differentiate for a recruiter somebody who earned coin through other engagement versus somebody who actually learned, earned coin via english which is probably the most important thing for that recruiter who is hiring for a telecaller but maybe less important for somebody else so how would you now differentiate what actually recruiter is looking for versus what a blended coin would now look for for them okay so this is like let's say we refer the candidates so when i talk to the recruiter i got to know we refer them some cards of candidates right so we have the data in the matlab back end which says these guys have uh, learnt a lot in this community and in this community they have earned those coins so we refer them directly instead of let's say recruiter saying so okay isne kitna coins liya and something like that so this would help us more like prioritize things instead of like confusing between learning coins all coins so when it comes to all coins we meet the engagement metric all over engagement and when it comes to back end referring to recruiter recruiter meets his goal so it's like a win win for both of us got it thanks thanks manoj so manoj just uh, one fundamental question right like i'm just looking at the prioritized idea so i had couple of questions right like what is in it for um for the person who is going to teach these people right like i i understand it's largely peer to peer how what's the motivation for the other person to come and teach these people right that's one and second for me is um while i want to learn through tamil like i have a varying degree of people who are at very different levels of learning english right do you think all of them in the same community would be able to get the value out of it um and third allied question is how do you measure outcomes here right like uh, while gamification is great like how do i know whether i'm getting better at english or not right so those are at least fundamental on how do you kind of construct this product around it okay so basically i was thinking of uh, like uh, to answer your first question that is the one is to one uh, thing so mostly hr's work is to hunt for candidates like so that's their main so i thought why could we involve them here itself so let's say they also know how the candidates learn what is the skill they have so when they practice in the one is to one mentorship and so both get benefited in a way and second is in terms of varying uh, uh, learning abilities so in the community what we have is we teach uh, like we post content daily on different topics like let's say we start teaching with alphabets nouns etc so everyone don't want to learn all the things right so that's a problem so in that i was thinking ki we have some levels like we, you already have like thoda english and all where we have communities like learn english in tamil uh, konjo english like learn english in hindi thoda english learn english in hindi thoda matlab in terms of levels we split it and uh, people can join those so two things happen because of this one is your one crore people is divided into several focus groups so they have their common goal and common level of understanding of english and uh, more focus on people would help them learn better got so it so measuring and it i was thinking of assessments measure, uh, yeah assessments, how do you measure outcomes yeah uh, assessments uh, and all but there are some drawbacks so there are two ways to measure it so one is you have an assessment where you give them a question and they answer it but there are higher chances that someone might do it because i work as a product intern at a skill based platform uh, matlab skill testing based platform but there we got to know ki when a person scored x amount x marks in a skill and when we called him for an interview that were not equal so like he scored 80 and in interviews he saw we saw that he has only 50 or 40 but uh, for this there should be some kind of a uh, metric in terms of their learning engagement metric into how much they practice with mentors uh, that would give us a score uh, like this is a person uh, so basically we cannot certify someone uh, we can certify in terms of batches but uh, i'm not sure about uh, how to like give a certification level or uh, let's say you are perfect or something like that so, uh, 
i need to brainstorm it or let's say someone who is uh, a good language learner or with learning researchers uh, it would better to do this because it's quite got complex it. topic to measure the language got it thanks thanks man it's very helpful so uh, manoj uh, uh, no questions here just one feedback ki when we uh, pr release is a good way to structure a product requirement when you are giving it but just one fundamental thing over that when you go a pr release method now the pr release has to be the first step not the last step right you launch a feature and then you explain so how concisely you are able to showcase that in your pr release statement is the essence of a pr release way of uh, uh, presenting the idea so okay uh, i the intent was right but i think you got it the other way around but uh, yes uh, just a feedback for if anybody is using the pr release it's a very very nice way it has the articulation and prioritization framework very nicely embedded it in in it but it goes the other way around yeah yeah sure i'll uh, incorporate that thank you thank you so much manoj thanks thanks manoj thanks manoj yep we'll quickly move to our next participant yep we have ravi Ravi, if you are in the audience, can you quickly raise your hand? Yeah. Hi, Ravi. Hey, hi, team. Is my video visible? Not Sorry. as of now. I think it may take a few seconds. Yeah, it, it is visible. It is... But you can switch it off if you are in a bad network. Yeah. Area. I just did that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll start sharing. Sure. I'll give you a heads up. Sure. <coughs> okay. Is it visible? Not yet. How about now? no maybe you can cancel and delete it is it okay how do i cancel can okay, you <coughs> okay it is i need to do some system preference change i'm in a mac okay let me just quickly do that if it's going to take uh, more than 2 minutes maybe you can join after the next presentation would it work sure 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 let sure. me just get get that yeah. for sure for sure so meanwhile we can have subin subin sudhakar who is the last participant i think brigu is still figuring out uh, the network issue So, when if you are in the chat, can you please uh, quickly raise hand? Ravi, I'm just removing you from stage for a while. Mm, sure, sure. So, when I just sent you an invite to the stage, if you can accept, yeah. I think you need to give camera mic permissions. Yeah. Yeah, we can see you, and if we can. Uh, see you. Uh, so I just share my screen. Yep. 
Hey, is it just me or are we losing Subin in between? Mm, no, no, I'm also losing. I thought it was just for a few seconds. So when it's pos if possible to probably go to a better network area or maybe switch the carrier or something. Internet isn't everybody's friend today, looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it Ermit? I was just reflecting. Is it Ermit versus Zoom? Uh, hi guys, can you hear me? Yes, we can uh, hear you now. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just go to the terrace and I'll switch off the video because uh, I am in my village right now. Yeah. Oh, no. And I think there is a low definition. Yeah, low definition. Also. I'll switch that on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, sorry. Meanwhile, I think uh, Karthik and Vaidhi, if you can just. Uh, we'll quickly walk the audience through like what is a hiring for a pm process looks like at apna that i think many folks would be interested to know can quickly touch upon that oh yeah absolutely see i think uh, uh, two philosophies for us right i think uh, people who have done product before and people who haven't done product before right let me just in the spirit of structuring the problem so let me split it into two parts um, i think people who have done product before um, the typical track we do is uh, a pm onwards and i think for the folks who haven't done product before but have uh, interest uh, in exploring this as a role we have a couple of ways of uh, figuring out uh, tracks for us we generally think for you to be super successful as a product manager you need to know either company context the problem statement context product context tech context or the user segment right if you know three or four of these then it gives you a lot more confidence to uh, start delivering on products and we sincerely think that you need to start building some of this before you get comfortable with it right and it's just in the spirit of setting a pm up for success not that you cannot deliver products from day one right so the spirit of it is to ensure that we are not in a hurry to ask you to deliver products on day one but to set you up for success so that you are super confident in terms of executing products at up right so in that spirit what we will usually do is uh, we have a working session kind of a interview where we give a problem statement very similar to this and look at how you approach the problem and we typically have either a apm track based on how that interview goes or a senior product analyst route which means you come in help us actually be attached to a charter start working through on product analytics to begin with which will be almost 70 30 for us so you start with 70% product analytics 30% writing and executing uh, products and then over 6 months we'll help you kind of swap that out to get to saying hey 80% you start now doing products and then you do analytics and i think that's work well for us in terms of transition into a product role for people who haven't on ground executed products before right so that's at least the two parts on how we think about it uh, the the evaluation criteria and the process is pretty similar for both right we typically give a actual live problem product problem that we are hiring you for and we would love to hear how you approach the problem outside in and based on how we think the panel thinks the uh, work is and where your fundamentals are we either slot you into directly a pm track or into an apm slash uh, spa kind of a track right so that's at least in a nutshell slightly a philosophy in terms of what we think will make you successful as a product manager and hence our process on the back of that right um i know while we get started if there are any questions on that please do uh, leave us questions on the side and happy to kind of part that and take those questions either in between or towards the end uh, wherever we can find time to oh sure for sure people yeah. put your question in the q and if you have specific questions about hiring also um, yeah i think subin is ready with the presentation subin we can see your screen maybe even just okay. start Great. presenting uh, can you hear me also i'll just yes we can hear you okay yeah so i'll start uh, so hi everyone i am subin uh, so starting with the presentation so apna as we all know it's an app for like uh, hiring the gray collars and uh, gray collar and blue collar um, job seekers where the recruiters are also present in the platform so there are like uh, three beneficiaries in this platform the job seekers uh, the recruiters and also the experts who are there so uh, if you see for a job uh, job seeker some of the frustrations are that uh, he uh, his performance in the job uh, in his present job is struggling and he is not able to progress uh, because of uh his poor english skills uh he wants to upskill but at the same time he wants guidance also and he uh, wants to be at a place where uh, he progresses uh, continuously for an um, employer the frustration is that 
and uh, even after hiring not many employees they fulfill their requirement and the second thing is that they need to be upskilled and the cost to company is uh, increasing right and uh, the needs for them is to find employees quickly and also uh, like judge the employee skills at uh, a far greater accuracy so uh, if you see um, uh, in from learning to job uh, when a job seeker wants to learn english the first thing is he is not able to measure what is the english skill he process he possesses the second is he doesn't have an encouragement to do it and when uh, and when he is like wanting to learn uh, like where when he is like searching what he wants to learn there are like many complex uh, uh, like theories he, which is being suggested in the internet or uh, the tutors are not they are offering a uh, coaching for a specific job of his nature and while learning english like uh, he is not able to like practice english for the very reason that he is shy and he was mocked by his friends and the second thing uh, is that uh, he is not able to measure his uh, progress in english uh, he is not able to he is a he is a blue collar job or a uh, gray collar job worker so he is probably doing like two jobs in two shifts so he is not having time and uh, the next one is he is not able to gauge his pronunciation correctness right even after the theoretical english uh, he is not sure whether uh, what he is saying is being heard properly because of the intense mother tongue influence and during the job he is not really confident e even after he has done a theoretical english learning for the employers uh, like uh, when the employer wants to find an applicant uh, a candidate like uh, he is not able to interpret the level of level of skills that the candidate has and while shortlisting also he is not able to judge of which uh, in terms of, uh, for apna it is like cards like for which of the ones like uh, he can shortlist and while interviewing like he is having a high reject ratio right which is increasing the hiring cost okay i'm just i think i'm stuck i'll just yeah. share it yeah yeah sure so uh, so the solutions uh, i have like uh, lined out as one is a solution to evaluate right the first the candidate needs to know is at which level he is in so for that uh, i am giving like uh, uh, the candidates like uh, they can get a badge right they can get a no english thoda english good english and a fluent english badge so first to get the badge he or she needs to go through an evaluation test so after taking the test and submitting it he or she will the app will let the uh, candidate know that okay your english level skill is not up to the mark for the badge you need you will have to upskill and for that we are assigning you like some of the modules we have you can also choose to get an expert for, uh, for which i will come later and like uh, so and the second evaluation is done like after the um, candidate like gets a confidence like after upskilling himself he can go check whether he has reached that level of expertise so after he has reached it he can, he will get the badge and he can claim it so uh, the next is the apna learn so in apna learn one of the uh, one feature is the one to one upskilling process where experts are assigned to them so these are assigned based on um the mother tongue in which the expert speaks the amount of uh, the number of guidance that the expert have given to similar jobs uh, yeah uh, so these are the um, and the hours of uh, guidance the expert has given so these are the three prioritization um, like filters uh, on which the app will select the experts for the um, candidate and the job seeker can choose an expert and uh, this can be an internal or an external expert and we can also open the option of paid where the experts can also like earn by guiding the um candidates by that they will also be incentivized uh, uh, to make sure that the candidate is uh, reaching to that particular skill so here like uh, there will be like uh, four sessions in a month uh, which can be scheduled as per the timings of the uh, experts and a, a google link uh, or a 
something like a huddle. Uh, I don't know. I haven't explored that. So a link can be given where both of them can meet and the communication can be done. The next is a translation API. So here um, the candidate can choose the language in which he wants to um, write and the translation for which he wants. There are many uh, there are many sentences for which he wants a translation, right? Uh, for which he wants to know what the meaning is. So for this, we can like uh, uh, integrate a translation API, and this is something which is uh, which can be done where the candidate can learn on his own. The third one is like how my fellow participants have mentioned. It is the daily post. So here uh, there can be like groups which uh, for which the English skills can uh, which are matching for similar jobs. Um, and there, there can be only uh, the expert who are posting the uh, the learning what needs to be learned like daily. The next is the motivation. The motivation needs to be there for the candidate. So the first thing is the badge. The badge will be visible in the card, and this will also help the uh, recruiters to select at uh, which badge of employees like he or she needs. The second is learning based time. So the learning based time, like uh, number of hours or the number of pronunciation or the number of translation uh, questions which uh, he or she, uh, a candidate, a job seeker has taken and based on that points will be allowed. And the next is like uh, uh, also show that if we if uh, show the candidates in the job section that if there are like, uh, if, uh, like as per higher skills, like high amount of salary jobs uh, you can get. So that can be shown upfront in the jobs uh, section. Next is practice. It is not only important just to learn, but the candidates needs to practice a lot, right? So for this, we are giving the opportunity in uh, the future of uh, shuffle practice where the candidate can uh, join for a shuffle practice and three uh, of candidates are uh, assigned in a group and they can proceed to practice. So here, what we are actually bringing through this feature is bring three of them uh, in a group and making sure that they complete a task in English together. Right? So here, here it will be a motivation that they need not do it like uh, individually, but there are also others uh, who are in there in the same uh, situation. Right? And it will be an uh, uh, energizer or a motivator. Then next is the one-to-one -one role play uh, where um, the candidate can practice with a connect. So uh, they can choose a schedule uh, based uh, like from the chat. And in the role play, like one of them will play the role of a customer and the other will play the role of uh, uh, the employee. So uh, the, que the questions with a normal customer ask, it will be shown uh, to the first person and the, uh, to the role player who is actually doing the uh, role of the customer. And the guy who is answering, he will be given the options on which uh, he can select, which is the appropriate answer, right? So by this, a 10 minute Even, role uh, yeah. Less than two minutes. Sure. So 10 minute role play where both of them get a chance, but they can also practice, right? Uh, people always need somebody to practice. That's why group studies and everything work. The next is the pronunciation practice. So uh, here, um, the app can integrate um, um, like a, uh, the Google text to speech where uh, the uh, pronunciation of the sentences, which are usually uh, found in the application of a delivery app, etc., can be there or uh, what a customer usually says so that the candidate can listen and he can also, he, this will improve his listening skills. And at the same time, uh, he can also repeat some of the sentences he wants uh, he wants to speak so as to know that what is the kind of accent on which he needs to pronounce it. Some of the, uh, so the primary metric, which I will be, um, which uh, I think we need to measure here is that number of jobs that is really uh, received uh, divided by the number of English uh, badges upskill uh, has been done. For every successful upskill, if the candidate is ready, he uh, we need to ensure that the job is there for him. Like he he gets the job. If not, we need to see like what are the other skills he needs to um, uh, like upskill on. Right when the other uh, upskilling like uh, features come in. 
And then next, uh, the tracking metrics for all these features would be like a uh, number of shuffle practices per week, a uh, number of uh, the average revenue earned by an uh, external APNA expert, the average number of hours of learning practice that is uh, done uh, per job seeker, the number of one-to-one -one role plays that are done, and the number of uh, tests that has been taken per week. Thank you, guys. Uh, I hope uh, some of these have like uh, uh, it has like resonated. Uh, open to questions. Awesome, yeah. Uh, Firstly, th thanks, Subin, for taking it from the rooftop, and <laughs> thanks for putting the ideas together. There's a bunch of breadth of ideas, and and love the love the effort of how you've tried to put that into visual uh, format of just to understand what's better, right? It, it brings a lot of what you're saying to life. I think just one question that I had, I love the breadth of ideas, but can you just talk through in terms of are these all ideas that you would want to do or is there going to be a prioritization between these or yeah. how do these talk to each other? Because my, me as a user, I have now a one-on-one -on -one practice, I have a, a shuffle practice. So how does this all tie together from a user perspective? Uh, got it. So I have done a, a prioritization. So it is based on the effort to build and the impact it creates. Right. So the first one is the evaluation. The user, the candidate needs to know where he stands. Right. And it is only there he takes his first step. And once he does it, the second one is the modules. Right? He needs to know where he wants to learn. And the modules here, we are presenting not a video where a lot of engineering needs to be done. It will just be a Google Doc to which the links will be provided in the chat to the uh, by the by the internal experts at first, right? And on top of it, uh, he can also go for uh, external expert that we will build to the last because that needs a lot of engineering to be done. And the next one is the pronunciation and the translation APIs to be integrated inside the app. This can be done really quickly. Right. And a lot of practice can be done by the candidate. Right. So he need not rely on someone else to do things. He can do it. Uh, so uh, and the fourth one is the Apna goals. He needs to be motivated. Right. Unless and until there is somebody there like putting a fire in his belly, he's not going to do things because English is not something which he has been told that needs to be learned from his childhood. Right. So yeah, so this is the prioritization and the shuffle feature and role play feature can be done at the last once there is traction gained because it's a network effect that will be needed for these features. Yeah, uh, so this is how I've done it. Got it. Helpful, helpful. One, one question, Sumin. Uh, so again, what I really like is in all your visual flow, your CTAs were very clear. I loved how you had simplified all your CTAs. There was just one clear action item at one screen. So I think that was really good. I liked from your visual. Uh, Thank you. The uh, other question I had, so you talked about this Apna expert uh, feature. Mm -hmm. Now it's how should we think about scaling it versus not? And like, how should we think about, hey, like who to offer this or how can it scale? Because at a scale of millions of users, uh, an expert coming in uh, okay. could be a expensive, be very hard to manage for a company. So, how do you think about uh, the scalability of that idea? Okay, the first reason why I thought of an external expert coming in, this will be a paid version, right? Because not uh, everybody will be tired after a point; they will lose their motivation, right? After they try, that's the reason they go and ask for help from others. Right? And this will come at a point, even though we do not offer, uh, and the candidates need it. So they will uh, they will actually somewhere else. Why can't we offer it? But the amount to pay, right? So this is where the question comes in. Um, so we are not. Uh, it it will it will be really. Um, uh, uh, it will not work like upfront, giving the candidate that okay. Uh, at first itself, you choose a expert and you start learning. We will see candidates who have actually practiced a lot, who has learned themselves. We'll have the data with us. Even after a lot of uh, uh, test evaluation he has done, he is not able to convert and get a badge. These people, we will, uh, uh, we will suggest. Okay, you go for a uh, expert. Uh, you go for an expert. This expert has actually helped these number of candidates get a job, upskill and get a job. 
so i think uh, this is how uh, we need to proceed uh, at front uh, it will be like difficult for them to pay but once they see that okay there is a desperateness that kicks it in the candidate he or she will pay for it and we are not going to loot from them right we are actually going to show them the result that okay if they are learning we are going to give them a job and that's our topmost priority yeah thank you very much yeah subin uh, i think a lot of things that you talked about are quite relevant i really like the evaluation part of it right and i would like to double click on it let's say you know uh, most of the jobs that uh, people are interested in and companies are hiring for want spoken english as a skill right not written mm-hmm. english mm-hmm. in that case how would you structure out the entire evaluation plus batch kind of a system and how do you plan to evaluate that for every single uh, response and give a relevant feedback to the end user mm, if i am understanding your question um so we are uh, testing um, how good in english is able to yeah he is able to speak english right mm-hmm. and uh, we need to evaluate his uh, speaking like structure whether his structure is good etc um uh, okay um i have not detailed that uh, but if i am thinking um can it be done through a google uh, like translation right uh, the a uh, google translation like when the candidate speaks the words would be uh, the speech to text right with the speech to text feature the text would be shown and that can be matched with the text that is actually there in the back end and if that matches yeah well and good if it doesn't matches the candidate is not through it i think this is one way the bot can do the checking uh, rather than an external coming and uh, doing the evaluation for the speak uh, yeah got it do you also plan to give feedback to someone um, let's say you know a person you qualify them and give them a batch thoda english right after mm-hmm. that how do you tie in the user journey so that uh, they are able to you know translate that into a you know step by step flow of how to level up their batch uh sure sure so i have not done the research of how the guidance and the upskilling needs to be but this particular flow can be uh, as i said so after the evaluation is is being done right the candidate will get a message from the internal expert in his inbox right he will tell that okay now uh, uh, it is fine that okay you ha- you are uh, Uh, you are not able to like you are you are in this particular skill you need to go to like good english skill for this you have like these are the modules that you need to uh, practice on right and after practice for like two weeks go and take the test again so i think we can connect it that way in the inbox because we already have that uh, real estate over there you got it got it thanks a lot subin yeah sure i hope i was uh, articulate Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thanks, uh, thanks, Abin, for the presentation. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. We have a revision per already. I'll just bring him to the stage. I hope his tech issues are fixed by now. Hey, hi, Dean. Hi Ravi. Audible, am I visible? Yes, audible, visible. You are able to share the screen? I'll try. I actually changed my laptop to Windows. Let me see. Is it visible now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um. Okay. A quick introduction about me. So my name is Ravi Shankarar. I'm a product manager, uh, manager slash consultant with Thousand Trick, which is an IT consultancy firm. I did my MBA from I am Lucknow. and my undergrad from ms in college chennai in mechanical engineering so that's about me i have about 20 slides to present it's going to be difficult <laughs> presenting it in you know 10 minutes so i'll be skipping few slides okay, so everyone is aware of the goals outcomes so the approach that i have followed is first i'm going to understand the user persona then user journey then i did a little bit of research user research and competitor research then i'll be listing down my findings and my solutions and mock up okay and after that comes the pricing strategy and the prioritization metrics validation and summary okay 
so basically i've, ta- I've taken two user personas okay so kamala is a is a lady who can read write but can't speak fluently she wants to due to family financial constraints she's planning to take up a job to support her family so this is one side the other part and the other side is uh, someone uh, rajesh is someone who can read whatsapp english as pointed out by priyank in, in the slack channel so he he can read whatsapp in the, in the sense he can read tamil and english words but can't speak or write properly in english they have a lot of pain points uh, kamala uh, is uh, she is not very confident she is not uh, very sure of english teaching institutes and rajesh is not sure whether he can learn a, a new language soon and he is also not confident at this age okay so these are the you know broad two categories i'm going to be focusing on <coughs> user jerry uh, in apna app everyone is aware of i'm skipping this okay user research so i interviewed five people who are not english literate but want to learn english to land a better job i showed them apna app and uh, you know i got some feedback <coughs> okay and the next is i actually applied for a job in apna where uh, english was one of the requirements so i actually talked to two recruiters i was very upfront that i'm not looking for a job but could they be you know willing to give me some feedback and they were very open about it okay and uh, i'll be listing down this uh, feedback in the next slide so i'll go to the next one so the next is i analyzed learn english uh, group in apna it was a treasure trove of you know feedback on the left side you can have you are seeing like a lot of people are asking for you know help to learn english practice english and on the right side you have influencers and uh, you know proposing helping candidates learn english by giving uh, improvements improvement points adjectives for different nouns english hindi translation and a lot of things <laughs> okay so for competitor research i analyzed three people three uh, companies cube jobs work india and job day so cube jobs and work india they were giving some sort of a certification to users or once they clear the english test and job day doesn't have any english certification but they were giving you know interview preparation tips in their portal <laughs> so findings is users require someone who is good in english to practice with they require a practice partner they needed a dictionary to understand the meaning of english by typing in their native uh, language words they needed a practice pad to learn english by typing it out they needed a practice test as well and they needed to assess the progress when they were learning english they, they didn't know where to start and where to end. <laughs> okay and most users uh, users didn't have the confidence they didn't have a lot of time to devote and they needed to learn english quickly and they were willing to pay even a nominal amount to get certified <laughs> this is from users perspective and from recruiters a uh, they a uh, lot of people are applying for the jobs which requires english but they needed some you know authentic filtering mechanism which they felt it's currently lacking in apna app and they felt a video resume if it is present where the users themselves speak in english can quickly help them in trusting a candidate rather than interviewing all possible candidates and for competitors they were providing few english courses and certifications <laughs> okay and the next one is solution overview uh, this is just a overview so what i'm going to propose is five different modules where under learn i'll be giving them pics videos dictionaries and other features and practice sessions with apna experts and getting certified and uh, they will be able to update their certifications in the update card in the apna card and at last they will be able to share this as well so i'll be going in detail in the subsequent slides okay one of the key pivots for our solution is apna english language taking teaching expert so how do we select them we need to come up with a curated exam uh, exam for selecting apna english experts we'll invite the influencers we have a good list of influencers that are currently present in the group we'll invite them we'll evaluate their written and spoken english and we'll give them guidelines on how to guide and help users and we'll certify them as apna certified expert and we'll incentivize them to take practice session with users okay so uh, the main key point here is they are not just a practice partner they should help users in gaining confidence and they should act as a cheerleader because a lot of people mentioned that they were not confident okay. so and the, the i also mentioned about incentivizing i'll be covering that in the later slides so we can't have everyone being an influencer or being an ex- ex- apna expert uh, in the app we need to have a review system where the users rate these uh, apna experts after taking a practice session with them and only retain users who get better reviews okay and the users uh, and the uh, influencers they'll be able to see the dashboard like a uh, badge will be visible what is their rating what are the number of sessions they have conducted what is the total earnings as well okay so this is a key pivot point that's why i covered it first <laughs> now let's go to the detail solution i'm basically proposing uh, four modules learn practice discuss certification okay but before you go there users need to choose two plans either it is a free study plan or it is a premium plan free a free plan will have 
uh, full access to learn module, but it will have limitations in certifications and practice sessions. Okay, that is a key difference. <laughs> so why should we do this? The thing is, people should know exactly where to start and where to end. I should start with learn module, I should practice, I should discuss maybe, and then get certified. So the, prog the progress will be clearly visible in this particular you know, dashboard for them. So this improves the conversion rate, I believe. <coughs> okay, the next one is the learn module. Um, I, I, what I believe based on the research is we cannot teach them end-to-end -end English you know, to the user. So what we need to do is job-based or outcome-based learning is very important here. <coughs> you know, because at the, every, um, you know, the model that we're creating, uh, be it through learning with pick or learning with videos or creating words, everything should be linked to the particular jobs. Let's say sales English skills or BPO English skills, telecalling, tourism. And all these things, how to attend HR interview. So all the learning modules will be linked to the job. That is number one. Okay. So th by doing this, actually, um, what we are doing is we are able to ensure that English learning happens through a real world job example, which is less intimidating. And the progress bar ensures that users know where they stand and how many modules are pending for com uh, completion. This would increase the engagement, retention across all users, and also reduce the time taken to learn English. <coughs> The next one is under learn model, we have dictionary as well. So what I'm proposing here is not to integrate the Google Translate API in the app. That will be costly. There are some limitations in it. And what we can do is do a you know, static mapping. OK, for these jobs, what are the different words that they should be aware of? And what is the translation of that in the native language? We can create this static map. We can and append it you know, uh, as a separate feature in our learn model. Hey, Ravi, uh, less than two minutes. Sure. And we have learned with others as well, where they can groups, uh, you know, uh, have subgroups to join, uh, learn with other participants. So I'll quickly go to the next one. And the next one is practice sessions. There are basically two. One is with experts, and the other one is practice test. So expert is like a video portal where they can, you know, uh, fix an appointment and get, um, you know, can practice. And the next one is practice. It is like a dual, dual. I got this idea from there, where English word people will be given, and people need to type it out in their English, uh, in in Hindi, in their native language. What is the translation of it? That's a better way to you know gamify the responses and increase the engagement. <laughs> the last one is certification. Basic certification will be available for free users, and fluent English certification will be available for people who are paying. But uh, one more feature that I want to propose is like people should be able to upload their video resume in English and that will be authenticated by APNA experts so that when the when the users are cert, you know forwarding this certification and video resume to HR it is a trustworthy uh, no, option <laughs> so uh, coming to the model uh, the uh, the pricing plan there are basically two plans free and premium free will have access to all the tutorials but in terms of practice tests and practice session there are some limitations with respect to premium and certificate for free basic english certification will be given and for premium fluent english certification and help in creating video resume and authentication will also be done and the charges that i'm proposing is 500 rupees <laughs> okay uh, there is, and i'm going to validate here whether three people apna influencers and users are they all benefiting here okay based on the total learn english group um i i did a guesstimate to find out active users that is like 24 lakhs active users per month and active influences will be 60000 so the total premium cost per person uh, uh, i'm assuming 500 rupees and total revenue will be 60 crore <laughs> okay and let's say the influencer is taking around uh, at the expense side 100 sessions per month okay and they'll be able to cover around 25 users and the revenue payout will be 12500 and let's say apna takes about 10% cut as operational expenses that is about 1250 so the total payout to serve all the paid users that are like 12 lakh users will be 54 crore and the total revenue is 60 crore so the difference of 6 crore could be for expenses that seems like a very good buffer so all the three users uh, asking user to pay 500 it's very reasonable considering they pay much higher in the uh, current market and the payout of 11250 to for just six days work with uh, about eight hours per day, it's it's a very good side job for influencers to come forward. It's a very inc good incentivization uh, mechanism, and six crore per month is enough to run this operation. Since we can also scale this to other learning platforms. <coughs> okay, so I have tried to you know on a prioritized list of features here, and the metrics that we should validate here as well. And <coughs> I'll just quickly uh, say say the top three points. 
So I, what I uh, use here is rice model actually, We're trying to find out what is the reach and impact with respect to the effort. Okay. The, Mac, the first thing is practice session with the Apna expert and the next one is learning program with pics and videos which are like job based learning programs and third one is certification module and the last one is embedding the certification video and resume feature in the Apna card. I believe these four things we should definitely focus on it okay, so to carry this forward and thank you. I was able to finish, I guess. So, so, so Ravi, thanks. Uh, I love the how you thought end to end about the delivery of a lot of these uh, modules, right? Like the fundamental thing in a lot of these is scalability and business viability of it as well. So that is, again, really, really awesome job thinking end to end about this. I think very essential for uh, product people to think the business as well. Otherwise, sometimes we get lost into it. Uh, so pretty awesome job uh thank you one question i had uh from this was uh like there were a lot of things in it right so the certifications and i think you did some prioritization uh on impact etc maybe let's forget for a second on delivery of this and what what would make user successful if you just had to pick one right? like what would land say and maybe with that two goals let's say for now we simplify it for job like if you want to make that person successfully get a job what would you say like is the thing you would prioritize first okay the first session first thing would be um practice session with apna experts um because a lot of people feel they don't have the confidence and they needed some feedback that came across to all the five users that i taught that would be the first thing and if they mm -hmm. nail it they will definitely get a job Got it. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Um, Ravi, just uh, love the business case. Uh, just the uh, not worrying about the numbers in itself, but I like the thought process of how you've approached. How do we deliver outcomes? Also, right? Like, uh, so thanks for putting that together. I think. See, one question as we think about experts, right? Like, um, just pushing a little bit on the delivery side of it. How do you think we are going to create a curriculum on this? Because there's going to be on one side a marketplace almost of uh, teachers in a way, right? Like who don't have a formal uh, experience just of yet of teaching it, right? Yeah. And on the other side, you're going to have users with varying uh, levels of expertise with not enough clarity on what expertise level they need to get to. Right? So if you think about this permutation combination, then even for a teacher, you might get multitude of people in very different uh, learning uh, stages and outcomes. Mm -hmm. So how do you think we as a platform can actually deliver this outcome in a, in a reliable, repeatable format, right? One thing is to say that I'm a marketplace, you guys just, just figure out and teach and learn from each other. But given now you are charging them, right? And so what's your value add in this as a, as a platform? Uh, and how do you ensure curriculum actually adds value? Mm. Okay. <laughs> so um, basically, we have two people, right? Influencers and the users. Uh, influencers, when they are certi when we are certifying, um, we no one is going to judge them based on the grammar that you are, uh, you know, speaking. Even now, when we are, you know, talking, it's like you are able to understand me, and I'm unable to convey whatever I want to. So that should be the key. There, there should not be any fixed set of curriculum. You do this, do that, and all. You should be able to write, and people should be able to make sense out of it. And the next one is people should be able to understand and that should be good enough for influences to get certified. And the next thing is they should act as a cheerleader. It's, it's like, um, what is the attitude they have? Are they able to help people out? Are they able to figure out what is their weak point? That should, that should be the key criteria. And that we can figure out by getting the reviews from the users. This is on the influencer side <laughs> and on the user side, like I mentioned, job based outcome. Uh, job-based learning curriculum, sales, like what are the different you know, sentences they use? What are the different scenarios? Like when you're pitching uh, pitching an order, pitching it to a customer, pitching it to your CEO, what are the different sentences bucketing, bucketing it out? And that is how we should approach. There should not be any fixed set of curriculum. And at the end, when they you know write the exam, people will get gratified. To, hey, I know all the sentences to you know in this particular sales job. That confidence they'll get. That is a validation that we are giving. And it will be authentic authenticated as well by the Apna expert and they can share this particular certification and the video resume with, you know, HR. And I think that is where we are adding value. I hope I answered your question. Got it. No, helpful, helpful. 
So Ravi, uh, when you maybe interacted with the users initially, did you pitch with them the idea of paying uh, to learn on Apna? <coughs> did you have a had... conversation with someone? Hmm. So I talked about five people. I did not pitch them. Um, mm. I but uh, what they told is they were they had a lot of you know um, ideas. I wanted dictionary. I needed something to type it out, and it was like a bunch of feature. And I knew that I'm not. I won't be able to implement everything for free. So I I told them, would you be interested in paying? <laughs> and they said not much. They said only nominal. <laughs> and I wanted to figure out what is it nominal. That is why I did that model. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if they pay for something, right? Did you get an idea of what exactly are they ready to pay for? What kind of outcome are they looking for? If they let's say invest hundred rupees also in this. Mm, okay. And uh, the main thing is they wanted some kind of a certification. Okay. Yes, I know I can speak English. I they needed some validation, and that is what they were paying for. That's what you know uniformly everyone said. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Let's say you know we remove the expert part from your solution because we say that it's a little difficult to implement and a little more operational. Initially, we did mention that we want to uh, build things that are more scalable and product led, right? Hmm. Uh, what would be the other thing that you would prioritize in that case, or would you change that solution into something else? Okay, so if we don't have the experts, um, the main feature that we should implement is. um the duolingo kind of an you know uh, chat pad where an english sentence is given and you need to convert that sorry i need you to convert that into your native language there will be a bunch of words given you need to choose that that is that sort of gamifies the you know people to interact more learn better and at the end of the day uh, we can ask users to attend a series series of tests and if you are able to crack maybe 80 80 out of you know 100 questions over a period of week then you are good to go hmm i think that is what I, for that no no we the main reason why they should pay is for practice i mean expert apna expert if you are removing that out of the picture then i don't think they need to pay hmm. because a learn access is something free the way i've given is it's free for everyone all the entire learning mode got it got it i think that's uh, pretty good you know you should really think of how uh, you know any kind of a one on one mentorship or a one on one learning thing will um at the end of the day pan out right mm. obviously you have that knack to think about edu- uh, how e- how to execute one idea from end to end right mm. so do think about that sure well. sure thank you thanks thanks, thanks ravi thank you mm, yeah up next we can have prigu prigu if you can just try raising your hand i'll also share you the invite see if the issue is solved yes i can see your hand hi prigu we can hear you i think i'm audible yes you are audible you can turn off your video if you want No, no, I have figured out the solution. I can present myself. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just give me a second. Okay. Okay. Is my screen visible now? Yes. Yes, it is. I have yes. given a little about myself. I am Rigu. I am currently pursuing bachelor of technology in IIT Assam Bengal. I am a pre-final year student. Uh, this is my first product tear down, and I have done few case studies before this. I am hoping you all will like it. So let's begin with this. The first thing that you notice when you open Apna is that this icon made in India with love will appear. It gives a sense that. what we are looking in the product what what apna has of apna uh, can offer us so i have seen apna more like a big brother like apna can help people get employment very easily and very accessible it is accessible for all <laughs> my audible hello oh. Yes, yes, you are audible. You are audible. We can see your screen. 
You can reshare. Hello, am I audible now? Yeah, yeah, you were audible before also. Yeah. Just your screen is mm -hmm. not visible. Is it visible now? Yes, it is. Yes. So uh, basically, our problem just. Uh, when I went through the problem overview, the problem statement was that we have to figure out a way where we can cut, we can use groups and connect one in one in one to leverage English uh, to leverage teaching of English. So basically, एक जो problem मुझे दिखा अपना में was that के इसमें retention का कुछ scheme नहीं है. For example, if I am a user and I get a job using अपना, then उसके बाद there is no process for me. Uh, if you can continue in English as a common language. Yeah. फिर से चला गया. No, no, Rigo, Rigo, we can hear you. We can hear you. You can yeah, keep you can presenting, me, but can... just continue in the English language. Yeah. So. The main factor that I saw was <coughs> I'm not so good in English. I'm done. Yeah. So as you you can see, can I continue in Hindi? Hello. Sure, uh, go ahead. Uh, not an issue. If it's a blocker, okay. if it's a blocker, yeah. go ahead. No worries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, I have seen the problems. I have seen first was this that there is no retention process. Like, I don't know if if I'm a user and I get a job through. Apna, why would I open that app again? Is there any benefit for me? So, for that, I I figured out the solution. Apna tournaments. This. Where we can ask users, we can where we can incentivize incentivize this uh, user for playing tournaments in our app. So that if to usko agar wo hire ho gaya hai, that that is one thing. Or if wo hire nahi hua hai, so it can also help in hiring. And the second thing, just now, uski help ki ja sakti hai is like he can earn money, like apna weekly tournaments. Weekly tournaments में वो part ले सकता है and he can earn money. The second thing that I introduced was अपना ranks. अपना ranks में you can go अपना uh, ranks basically ऐसे बनाएंगे पांच ranks में divide होगा. First will be beginner, then novice, then competent, proficient and expert. जैसे जैसे uh, आप English lesson सीखेंगे वैसे वैसे rank will keep increasing. रैंक विल कीप इंक्रीजिंग और वैसे वैसे आपको हाई पेड जॉब शो होने लगेगा जैसे स्टार्टिंग में आपको लो पेड जॉब दिखाई देगा देन यू कैन लर्न फ्यू लेसन एंड कीप ऑन गोइंग द थर्ड थिंग दैट आई इंट्रोड्यूस वॉज गेमिफिकेशन ये डेली एक्टिव यूजेज इंक्रीज कर पाएगा uh, हमारे तरफ से और यूजर यूजर रिटेंशन हमारे इंक्रीज कर पाएगा then i use this uh, rice score model for the same this uh, may ha brigo we can hear you
हेलो हाँ हाँ वी कैन हियर यू प्लीज कंटिन्यू हेलो हेलो वी कैन हियर यू वी कैन सी योर स्क्रीन आल्सो हेलो लेट मी रिमूव हिम फ्रॉम द पैनल फॉर अ बिट यार so guys okay i'm out i'm out of it right so let me start this again jab maine apna app ko ke bare mein try kiya i found three basic problems first was retention ke users ko hum retain nahi kar pa rahe hain ek user jiska job lag jata hai uske baad we have no reason to open that second thing is jo ki uh, users hain jinke paas certain amount of skills hai सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ स्किल्स है वो उनको जॉब्स नहीं मिल पा रहा है क्योंकि एक प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चर नहीं है टू प्रूव देयर वायबिलिटी लाइक देर आर अपना बैजेस बट वो एक हद तक यू कैन इजिली गेट अपना बैजेस बट इट कैन नॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट यू प्रॉपरली ऐसा अलग से तो दैट्स वाई आई फिगर्ड आउट थ्री थ्री बेसिक रीजन अपना टूर्नामेंट फॉर रिटेंशन अपना रैंक्स for users to stand out and one by one and group challenge games jisse ki retention increase ho sake to apna ranks mein basically ek jo key difference ye tha ki apna mein kafi sare features hain aise inke bare mein users ko pata hi nahi hai wo features kafi acche hain wo kafi ek better provide kar sakte hain opportunities ek connect karne ka zariya de sakte hain lekin users ko uske bare mein knowledge hi nahi hai तो इसलिए अपना रैंक्स का बेसिक मोटो इसलिए मैंने फर्स्ट थ्री स्क्रीन जो इस पे आपको दिखाया वो इसलिए है कि यूजर्स गेट टू नो के बट अपना रैंक्स तो अपना रैंक्स में आई डिवाइड इनटू फोर पार्ट जिसमें आपको रैंक्स रैंक रैंक मिलेगा और रैंक आप अपने कार्ड पे शो कर सकते हो एंड uh, जो भी सामने से हायरिंग uh, हायरिंग के लिए एच होगा ही कैन इजिली स्टेक यू आउट कि दिस इज अ पर्सन हु कैन who is good at english so basically you what you do is aap do tarike se points uh, gain kar sakte ho first is ki aap ek lesson learn kar sakte ho learn a lesson where you will be provided different lessons aur usme ke through aapko points milenge and second is you can participate in a competition competition and weekly apna tournament is same in uh, up moving to the next part apna tournaments ya fir jab hum uh, वीकली जो कॉम्पिटिशन है उनमें आते हैं तो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन फर्स्ट इज फॉर हायरिंग एंड सेकेंड वन इज फॉर रैंक स्लैश प्राइस तो हायरिंग के लिए ऐसे होगा कि यू कम्प्लीट अ टूर्नामेंट यू यू कम्पीट इन टूर्नामेंट आप उसमें जीतते हैं एंड देर इज हंड्रेड परसेंट चांस के आपका सिलेक्शन हो जाएगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्सेंचर ग्लोबल लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल एक्सेंचर ग्लोबल एंड बीपीओ टेली कॉलर के लिए इट इज लुकिंग फॉर पीपल सो इट विल हेल्ड अ टूर्नामेंट और जो भी टूर्नामेंट का विनर होगा उसके लिए जॉब एश्योर्ड हो जाएगी और सिंपली जब हम उनको अब फॉर एग्जांपल ये तो हो गया जिन लोगों के पास जॉब नहीं है अब जिन लोगों ने अपना के थ्रू जॉब स्कोर कर लिया है वाई वुड दे टेक पार्ट इन अ कंपटीशन तो बेसिकली हम इंसेंटिवाइज कर देंगे जैसे कि आप यहाँ पे देख सकते हो अपना वीकली टूर्नामेंट इसमें टोटल प्राइज मैंने फाइव है ऐसे हम कुछ इंसेंटिवाइज कर देंगे ताकि जो लोगों का जो लोग हायर हो चुके हैं 
जिन लोगों का जॉब लग चुका है वो भी इसमें पार्ट ले सके यही मैंने आगे दिखाया है कि कैसे कैसे इस चीज को हम इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं जब यूजर अपना रैंक खोलता है तो उसको नोटिफिकेशन आता है कि अपना टूर्नामेंट इज गोइंग ऑन थर्ड चीज जो मैंने इंट्रोड्यूस करी वो थी गेमिफिकेशन गेमिफिकेशन के तीन बेनिफिट्स होंगे एक जो वन बी वन फीचर है अपना का विच इज वेरी लाइक शेडोड उसको एज अ हम अपना को जब भी देखते हैं तो हम एज अ प्रोफेशनल प्रोफेशनलिज्म की तरह हम एज अ प्रोफेशनल देखते हैं कि हमें उस, उससे हायर होना है मतलब उससे जॉब गैदर करनी है बट अब गेमिफिकेशन इंट्रोड्यूस करने से हम एक सेंस ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप इंट्रोड्यूस कर पाएंगे इसमें आप लोगों से मिल सकते हो आप उनके साथ गेम्स खेल सकते हो जब आ, एक यूजर से गेम खेलने का गेम खेलने के लिए इनविटेशन भेजोगे आप तो ये मैंने दिखाया कैसे वायर फ्रेम में कैसा शो होगा और ऑल्सो आप ग्रुप्स का भी ऐसे ही ग्रुप्स के अंदर भी ऐसे ही गेम्स खेल सकते हो जैसे ये अपना गोरा इन्फ्लुएंसर है एंड ही इज आस्किंग फॉर अदर्स टू प्ले प्ले द गेम आगे मैंने ऐसे ही एक फॉर एक एक गेम का एग्जांपल दिखाया ऐसे हम कई सारी गेम्स इंट्रोड्यूस कर सकते हैं अब ये गेम्स के थ्रू हम लर्निंग भी प्रमोट कर सकते हैं जैसे इसमें मैंने दिखाया है कि यू यू हैव टू चूज अ ग्रीन लाइट टू चूज द राइट ऑप्शन और उसमें राइट ऑप्शन से मैंने इंग्लिश के फिल इन द ब्लैंक शो कर दिया और देन यू कैन कम्पीट ऑल्सो जैसे आपका स्कोर नीचे दिखाई देगा और जिसके बाद आप कम्पीट कर रहे हैं उसका आपसे नीचे दिखाई देगा टू मिनट्स का ऐसा गेम होगा ऐसे वी कैन इंट्रोड्यूस स्मॉलर गेम्स टू Keep the retention and increase the daily active usage. इसको मैं राइस कोर मॉडल से दिखा दिया है कि किस किस चीज का कितना इफेक्ट और इम्पैक्ट हो सकता है और फिर मैंने सफेस मेट्रिक्स दिखाई है अपना रैंक्स के लिए हम डेली एक्टिव यूजर्स देख सकते हैं यूजर्स कितनी बार अपना रैंक्स को ओपन कर रहे हैं कितने लेसन लर्न किए कर रहे हैं पर डे उस चीज के बारे में पढ़ सकते हैं गेमिफिकेशन में भी कितने डेली एक्टिव यूजर्स है उसकी लोग कितना उसको यूज कर रहे हैं और एक एवरेज टाइम स्पेंड बाय यूजर्स प्लेइंग गेम्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस थैंक्स प्रगु फॉर फॉर पुटिंग दिस टुगेदर आई थिंक वेरी शार्प सेट ऑफ थ्री आइडियाज एंड आई लाइक Uh, this is the uh, simplicity of how how you've thought about how ui can be as simple for a particular product right and i think maybe for all of us i think one of the mentors that i had and it still stays with me is a great pm is someone who creates simple solutions for complex problems right anybody can create complex solutions for complex problems the real uh, juice is in whether you can find out whether this is the simplest idea for a problem right so i think i love that fact i think super simple uh, solutions for problems the way you have articulated so thanks for putting that together and uh, that's something that i love right i think just one question in terms of um, um just the pure learning part right like how do you see uh, how is it going to actually improve like are we going to create these small bite sized learning modules behind these uh, the plus 4 plus 5 point gaining uh, modules that you had do you see ourselves creating these modules how where do you see this intelligence being created uh, is that something that or that we need to create or where do you think this intelligence resides today how do we actually Sir, product create it initially to hum bhi set of cheeze create karenge lessons create karenge jisse ki users learn kar payega at a later stage we can ask influencers or we maybe we can incentivize teachers To be a part of it और वो बना पाए ये चीजें तो that would be better क्योंकि हमारा भी set of knowledge एक हद तक होगा and secondly as we add influencers influencers uh, community के बीच में रहते हैं they know what the people need तो वो एक better sense of learning create कर पाएंगे and incentivize incentivizing them is a good option कोई भी uh, usually हमारे यहाँ पे India में thing works like if उस field में पैसा है तो जस्ट लेट्स डू इट तो हम अगर इंसेंटिसाइज करेंगे तो देर विल बी लाइक लर्निंग का कर्व इंक्रीज हो पाएगा इसी चीज में वेरी हेल्पफुल वेरी हेल्पफुल Hi, Brigu. Uh, I I would like to add a couple of things. First of all, it did not seem like the first product teardown that you've done. 
so yeah this uh, is my first product air down yeah yeah it it just was you know showcased ki thoda hesitation tha but other than that the uh, quality of you know the research that you have done uh, really you know was showcased in the ideas i would love to understand one thing from you so the first idea that you suggested was that you would unlock a couple of jobs if you have certain skill level of or if you earn a couple of points right uh, for this right did you go into a little more depth and understand what are those core skills that you need to learn and how do you unlock specific job, jobs uh, compared to each of these skill sets yes sir मैम बेसिकली जब मैं रिसर्च कर रहा था तो आई फाउंड टू प्रॉब्लम्स पहला जब मैं गूगल रिव्यूज के थ्रू गया तो फर्स्ट थिंग इज कि लोगों को पता ही नहीं है कि क्या स्किल सेट रिक्वायर्ड है दे कीप गेटिंग रिजेक्टेड अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन एंड दे डोंट नो कि क्या स्किल सेट इसे चाहिए तो अभी बेसिकली मैंने फोकस किया था कि दिस स्ट्रीमलाइन विथ इंग्लिश एज अ स्किल सेट चाहिए बट एट अ लेटर स्टेज वी कैन एड इन जैसे बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट का रोल है आपके इसमें ठीक है या फिर वेब डेवलपमेंट का कुछ भी अगर जो भी रोल्स है वी कैन एड इन उसके स्पेसिफिक स्किल्स हम ऐड कर सकते हैं अपना रैंक्स में जैसे कि आप आ, अपना ऐप में जब भी हम स्टार्ट करते हैं तो इट आस के आप किस फील्ड में जाना चाहेंगे तो वी कैन डू दिस वन थिंग कि इंग्लिश तो हम एक मस्ट रख देंगे इंग्लिश एक मस्ट है जो सबको आना चाहिए फिर उसके बाद वी कैन एड इन मतलब जॉब सेंट्रिक जॉब सेंट्रिक स्किल्स वी कैन एड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वन इज अपलाइंग फॉर बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट तो उसको बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट के रिलेटेड स्किल्स भी आने चाहिए वी कैन इंटीग्रेटेड बैट इन अपना रैंक्स एट लेटर स्टेज इनिशियली मैंने इंग्लिश से सोचा था आई वॉज ऑल्सो फिगरिंग आउट दीज टू थिंग्स के यूजर्स का क्या रिएक्शन रहेगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल अभी कैसे रहता है कि इफ यूल ओपन एप आपके पास हाई पेइंग जॉब से लेकर लो पेइंग जॉब्स तक आपके पास सारे ऑप्शन अवेलेबल रहते हैं तो इट क्रिएट्स अ सेंस कि इफ आई एम प्रेजेंटेड विद ऑप्शन कि मुझे 15,000 पर मंथ का जॉब लेना है और 90,000 पर मंथ का जॉब लेना है तो आई की आई श्योरली वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट टू गेट नाइनटी थाउजेंड जॉब राइट तो वाई वुड आई अप्लाई फॉर फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड जॉब तो बेसिकली मैंने ये चीज नोटिस किया कि जिन लोगों के पास लो स्किल है वो हाई पेइंग जॉब्स के लिए बार बार हाई स्किल्स जॉब के लिए हाई पेइंग जॉब्स के लिए बार बार अप्लाई करते रहते हैं they don't go for low paying jobs and they keep getting rejected or fir wo ek negative impact pe karta hai hamare app ka hamare reviews ka wo as in wo user ko hum kho dete hain is tarike se to apna ranks ka ek ye benefit bhi hai ki aapko ek jab hame koi bhi cheez kamani padti hai to then it is like wo hamare liye precious ho jati hai to wo ek hame pata hoga ki kitne certain skill level pe mujhe yahi job mil sakta hai और मैंने अपने टूर्नामेंट्स का इसमें इसलिए डाला है कि इफ आई एम अ प्रो एट इंग्लिश एंड इन केस हमने ऐसा पूरा कंप्लीटली चेंज कर लिया अपना अपना प्लेटफॉर्म को एंड वी कैन ओनली गेट अ जॉब थ्रू अपना रैंक्स अपना रैंक्स के थ्रू ही जॉब अनलॉक होगा तो देन आई कैन प्ले इन दिस टूर्नामेंट सो दैट कि सीधा मेरा डायरेक्ट जॉब लग जाए जो बेसिकली जो जॉब ओरिएंटेड हायरिंग ओरिएंटेड टूर्नामेंट्स आई कैन प्ले इन दोस टूर्नामेंट्स एंड मेरा डायरेक्टली जॉब लगे आई डोंट हैव टू गो थ्रू विद दिस बिगनर नोवाइस एंड एवरीथिंग लाइक तभी मैंने वो चीज भी इंट्रोड्यूस किया जिससे दोनों प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो पाए गॉट इट हाउ डू यू प्लान टू प्रिवेंट चीटिंग इन दिस गिवन यू नो दैट्स हाउ मेनी पीपल आर आई टेक अ मिनट टू थिंक अबाउट इट डोंट चीट अ Yes. <laughs> I would Just also like to know some of the participants also see this is a common problem in the country, mm. right? And even if you know you are uh, saying that I will run a tournament or maybe give them a certain badge, people will go on and cheat a lot, right? So how we do can you create a uh, we can create a certain set of questions. For example, if uh, tournament में हमें सिर्फ पांच questions देने हैं. we can create a set of 100 questions and randomly five questions will allotted to that person or or hum time based tournament rakh sakte hain for example agar uh, mcq questions hai and aapko sirf pick karna hai to 20 seconds ya 30 seconds per question it will increase ke it will decrease ke cheating nahi ho payega this we can do this thing hmm what if kisi ne apne friend ko bula liya you call me because i am a little better in english and i give the test on your behalf This I I have to work on this. Yeah. Not... 
and this is an open problem statement just think about it a little right the idea of rewarding people based on merit is quite awesome right but in a country like india this is a very common problem that stems right uh, yeah i think, I think uh, overall also to add to vidhi's point right like yeah. not just this yeah. one at you is think about products and what behaviors you are building for i think sometimes the most well intentioned products we have a blind eye to what other behaviors it spawn off right like and sometimes what happens is there will be so much negative behavior probably you would have built around the product that we turn a blind eye towards right typically gamification any type of incentivization that you do right and one of the double edged sword of incentivization especially through monetization right like paying someone to do is probably you will have so many more uh, blind spots to it rather than otherwise right so as a principle do think about how do you uh, break down the behavior to two three levels of why they are actually doing it and try and figure out a product loop around that behavior and that incentivization usually works well right like one of the things what i mean by that to just contextualize is say a referrals right like peer to peer referrals is a brilliant idea right but how do you exactly incentivize a person to share a referral idea you could do it in multiple different ways right the easiest to do is for every referral you give i'll give you 25 rupees right the problem with that is it spawns off so much negative behavior you will have a lot of fake jobs and eventually trust gets lost on both sides right however if and one of the experiences that we've realized if you go five levels of why as to why someone would refer the one thing that we have realized is that people want to either pay forward or pay backward something as help right so the innate product you need to build around is if i help someone today tomorrow someone would probably help me if i am in the same situation right so that is the behavior around which you probably need to build a gamification product around and that's what you need to tap rather than at a very high level of incentivizing referrals right so just a food for thought for everybody gamification is usually is a slippery slope sometimes that way but even otherwise as you think about incentivizing behaviors do go three levels deeper to say am i incentivizing the right behavior right otherwise you will realize there's a lot of other bad behavior you could be inadvertently uh, uh, spawning off yes. yes yeah and trust me there are a lot of indian users har kisi ko everyone knows 100 types of jogad right so that is very much required when you are building for indian users so yes. yeah Thank you. No, thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Bhigo. Yep. With that, we come to the end of the presentation, and uh, I think uh, Priyank just ping me that we are also ready with the results. But before we move to the results, um, uh, folks, any thoughts on the how uh, the presentations was out today? uh anything that you uh, expected could have been improved better or uh, anything else is a common feedback that you have to the participants who have submitted because uh, some of these folks regularly keep participating in other tier downs also uh, many of them who are currently still we have 45 people at 940 on saturday uh, are actively applying at jobs and uh, looking to get a feedback and exactly how companies think about product or specifically product as in uh, when they are applying for a job and they are actually solving a problem statement given by the companies yeah maybe i'll just add a couple of things that um, i've seen work well and i think uh, i'll let the rest of the panelists add to it as well i think one in the noise of everything we should not forget the fact that framing the problem is more important than anything right um if you don't frame the problem right it is you will go in a very different direction right so uh, it is often underrated often overlooked but spending a lot more time on truly writing down what is the problem i'm trying to solve and maybe break it down into what does that mean for a user for different stakeholders and for the business right but often we jump into user research problem statements product solutioning etc but uh, i've seen a lot more importance given to framing the problem right is also required right so don't take it at face value like while for this example we gave you a problem statement right but if i were you i would just go down to figure out is this even truly a problem right is the problem actually needs to be framed two levels down right so i would say problem definition and being very clear about what i'm trying to solve for is super p0 right as even before you go into any of this 
I think second, we all tend to do this in in in, in either interview setting or exercises, which is we know you have to do user research. We know you'll have to put personas around it, and you know you'll have to do solutioning around it, right? But I think what is more important is being practical about it, right? Like truly thinking about which user segment am I building this for, right? Uh, while the problem might be very different in this case also, the problem statement you could think of as a user segment who already knows English versus not blue versus gray. My level of expertise. You could have cut customer segments, user segments in multiple different ways, right? And again, being very clear about what is the problem, which user segment am I solving this problem for? And many a time we run into this uh, at the expense of repeating it. If you're building it for everybody, probably you're not building it for anybody, right? So be very clear on whom you are building it for, right? That's the second one. And I think pure play problem solving, everybody does these three parts. But I think practically you need to connect the three together, right? Like in these presentations or in the 45 other presentations, what we've seen is while the intent is clear. We have not followed the fact that hey, I defined a problem. This is the user. Now, when it comes to solutioning, sometimes it is disparate from the two, right? Because you now are enamored by the five ideas that you now created, right? So then, what happens is you've done problem definition and user segment definition, and then you've jumped completely to solutioning, which is idea forward, right? Uh, which is great, but I think just in terms of purest way of solving it, do stick to the problem statement, user segment, and then solutions for that, right? Um, and nothing in terms of rocket science, but I think we just sometimes there's too much noise around it, right? Um, and and most again to reiterate, it is not the complexity of the solutions, but whether the solution is actually solving the real problem, right? And this is true for not you even uh, even startups, right? Sometimes when we go along the flow of PMF and then scaling it, we lose sight of what were we actually trying to solve for, right? And in the depth of monetization, we lose the vision of what the user actually wanted etc so truly we philosophically think at least at apna we are building a hopefully a company that lasts beyond me right like hopefully a generational product so be long term build actually for user value monetization will follow right uh, not to say don't monetize it but truly don't uh, leave the focus of figuring out whether you are actually solving the user problem right if that is lost everything else is uh, lost as well right so sorry just in terms of summary be very very sharp about framing a problem uh, very underrated very important to get that right if you don't get that right everything else is marking up the wrong tree right second be very clear of whom you are building it for right it might be 80% segment it might be five segments it can be just one user segment but be very clear about whom you are building it for right and the third is as you think about solutions don't get uh, wide eyed by the list of ideas that you have but do stick to again the framework of what you're solving it for and hence what are the ideas right uh, so at least that would be the two three things that i've seen usually uh, work well but we often tend to lose it in the larger picture of things got it got it and uh, yeah uh... Priyank, Karna, I think if you yeah. want to add, or so, I just I think ah, sorry, plus sorry. one to it. I think what I what I like to remember is again general advice to everyone is fall in love with the problem you are trying to solve, not with the solution you first thought of. I think all of us love, like it, it's very hard, right? It's very hard when you you create an idea, you feel it's your baby, and you go try to defend it to the extent, but just remind yourself that you're trying to solve a problem and uh, which your solution is the best one should be the one uh, which goes through and maybe a tactical check right like uh, i know it's e because it's easier said than done a lot of times a tactical check is every time you build bring a solution or bring a list of solution go back and check does it actually solve my goal or whatever so start with the goal or what metric you would even want to solve and then again at the end of everything go back and again check again hey does it actually solve my problem to what extent and that that makes it quite uh, easy uh, framework to use uh, for everyone. And the second thing which I I, I saw is also, uh, yeah, I think when we prioritize the user base, it's also very important to think where the entry point is, right? So what I mean by that is, which users you are trying to solve for will determine a lot on what is the entry point of exposing your product. A lot of time I've seen, all of us are so, when you go into building your product, we get so enamored by this is the best product. I want to put it up top there. 
but actually you'll miss the success of the product if you don't think at which point in the user journey the first trigger or visibility of this should come up and that will lead to 10x more success than even branded on the home page because at that point users not even thinking about why that they should do that action you are asking about so just be very very sharp about what should be the uh, you, we call it ingress point or your visibility point of that product and it should really fall from hey this is actually a point user would need this and that would make your solution even more successful yep 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 uh thanks thanks karna just one uh, quick question that i had this is a kind of a common uh, question that i have got from the people also who participated there throughout the month is ki there are some very very nuanced feature uh, that apna has built which is something that a you cannot find in any other i will say job listing platform in india b i'll say any other common b2c uh, products also and like one of the examples i can give is uh, this uh, when you apply for a job or when someone is actually posting a job there is a thoda english right which is very very nuanced so just wanted to know ki how you come to the decision of building these nuanced products because i'm very sure someone within the team while this feature is getting built or getting shipped would have counter question ki no we have not seen it anywhere uh, why we are being the first ones or why we are being counter intuitive uh, to what exactly have been the user behavior so far it's a very interesting question right and i think uh, uh, probably the early team of priyank and uh, nirmit should probably take credit for some of these calls right and there are a bunch of string of pearls like these ideas which i even i before joined up now i was like wondering the same right see i think at the fundamentals of it i think what's worked well us for us is as a product approach actually truly understanding what this tg is facing as a problem and then build product around it right and i think Uh, sometimes what we fall into is uh, while you can look at competition etc you don't know the complete context of why they would have created something and uh, just assuming that a particular feature is is a given is not always true right for example what a linkedin would have done for example in the same job construct would have been very different for a white collar workforce but that the same thing might not work for us right and i think with your specific example there were two three things that led us to it right one is saying that boss nobody is super confident about completely being great at english right the second guardrail that we used is we always wanted to be a professional platform right what a professional platform does is it has to be aspirational right and as we thought about all products that we create we wanted to keep these guardrails in mind right and hence when it comes to language one of the most counterintuitive things that we realized is while they might not fully understand everything in english they still thought english is aspirational right and for everybody irrespective of whether your job needs english or not your product hence is also aspirational in their mind right and hence you will see a bunch of spawned out behaviors where people now already know that they can't put entertainment here right? they can't put bollywood trailers here so your overall positioning of the platform and the guardrails around it help us kind of take some of these decisions right and we truly thought thoda english is solving both sides of the problem of saying that hey this allows a little bit of customization of people who truly struggle with language whereas on the other side first principles of being a professional networking platform meant it needs to have english and unfortunately english being aspirationally attached to it as a positioning point right so those are the two things that work well for us and i think the other one uh, very small trivial but very different is our onboarding based on listing ads right like you could always have a onboarding which is a free flow format of five things you want right but again the innate thing that we realized and when we started off it was a heavy blue collar thing right where in the in the actual real world visiting card is super aspirational right not everybody has visiting cards right you see your boss having a visiting card or you see like really affluent people having visiting cards so the whole point around making onboarding as filling up a visiting card had that behavior it was tapping into right saying boss if i do this i actually get a visiting card which is also customizable etc right and we saw so many people sharing visiting cards right which is uh, and today also about 25 30% of our uh, mao dao etc go into profile page which is for a transactional platform for us super high right which means again at the fundamentals people like to see how they look as uh, a potential person to others and also looking at what others are up to right and the moment like someone talked about medals right uh, we put one medal on simply assessment ke liye we said we'll put that the next day we had so many people asking us how do i get a medal right 
or how i have only two someone else has 10 right how do i do it so the the this tg earns for almost like a professional identity which doesn't exist for them and at the second point uh, to i think uh, the gamification part you could also figure out that these set of people are super competitive right like we as indians are also super competitive in that sense right we like taking competitive mm-hmm. exams everything to one up on someone else innately exist with us as indians right so some of this also makes it uh, easier for us saying hey if someone has five medals how do i get 10 etc so again taking a step back it's good old fashion i think uh, playbook of being true blue product right like thinking bottom up what is your user saying and truly listen to them and put a product around it worst case you fail at it right but uh, it's fine right but you will have a strong hypothesis individually speaking on why it is that way and um, if you build it the high, i think the eventual success rate will be higher than the short term outcomes from it right so that's at least uh, two three cents on on that as an approach thanks 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 that was super super useful yep uh, i think uh, maybe uh, you can take a two or five minutes on the backstage uh, to just come up with a final result yep let's yep. do it meanwhile i'll just keep the participants informed about the next year on session you can uh, turn off your video uh, maybe in, in case you want yep so ha priyank uh possible to go backstage or we take the conversation offline you can take it offline i think Uh, you uh, can go back and you come back but yeah. yeah so folks who are joining here for the first time uh, i'll just give you a quick introduction about uh, what is product data so it's a month long initiative that we do at the product folks where we invite a company uh, and uh, basically the community members work on a specific problem statement and this problem statement is an actual product problem statement that companies generally give to their applicants who apply to the companies directly you work on that problem statement you submit a deck and uh, basically top 5 decks uh, get shortlisted and uh, are also selected for the finale day presentations so today uh, we had a top 5 decks out of around 55 decks which were submitted initially uh, and next month i think i have already pinned it in the comments we are hosting an early stage company curious junior what trying to solve uh, i'll say in uh, edtech specifically built for coding but for junior folks in a very very interesting manner uh, we have not released a problem statement yet we will be releasing it next week but in case you are interested to join for the next month you can always register uh, on the link given in the chat yep in case you have any other specific question uh, specifically related to the product folks or teardown do put it in chat i'll love to answer um yep I just go to some of the questions in the Q and A tab. Yep, Prana, for that I think you can DM uh, Karthik or Priyank. Maybe they'll be able to give you some ballpark on that. First principle. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. And in case you have had missed today, we at the product folks actually launched one of the very, very uh, interesting Web three course. Also, uh, mainly focusing on the Web three fundamentals, and it's a free course where you can join. It is actually planned for next one and a half to two months. Uh, we have multiple sessions lined up from people. uh across i'll say different different areas uh, of expertise in web3 today we hosted sandeep uh, who is a founder uh, co-founder of polygon uh, metic uh, we have a uh, sessions around nfts defi uh, how to go about actually breaking into web3 jobs uh, so in case you are interested you can join that cohort also i'm just putting a link in the chat yeah okay uh, akshay so ha huh, i'll 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 probably focus on that 
so basically uh, there are multiple uh, incentives here that and perks here that people get one is the uh, rewards from the company that people get uh, there are fixed uh, voucher slash cash based rewards that uh, top three people will be getting uh, and other uh, is the direct interview opportunity uh, all of the companies that we tie up with uh, basically give an interview opportunity to uh, participants to make it to finale or actually win the tear down sessions so that will be your perks in case you make it to top five or top three or top five. Yep, I think uh, we are back with the results. Uh, would be great if one of you can announce. So, thanks. Uh, so I, I've I, I've been given the the team uh, has helped me be nominated to do the honors. So I'm very excited to share that. But at the same time, it's also hard. We were deliberating that. The quality of the tear down was really awesome, uh, and that made our lives harder uh, to differentiate between. Anyways, uh, our life was pretty hard getting to the short list, and uh, the whole work after that made it even harder. So I would say kudos to all of you. For sure, uh, for sure. Here. Because because Who I remember sending everything to Priyank and everyone within the team. And I couldn't respond, receive the response. And Priyank told me it is becoming very, very difficult to select the top five out of this. Yeah. And uh, huh, Pranav, actually, you have asked for this. And we ha do have a, a honorable mentions before we actually move into the top three. So Naveen and Komuri uh, is, is 1P. And uh, Ritika Divan uh, and Mrigank Manoj will be the honorable mentions. Whose decks were just got missed by one or two points to make it to the top five or three. So kudos to uh, Naveen, Ritika, and Viran. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so, folks, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna share the honors, but again, would like to thank that. I think everyone on the call was just awesome. And uh, so, let me start, uh, and we're gonna announce the top three. So, I'll start with the third uh, third person first. So, I'd like to congratulate Brigu uh, for. Uh, for Super. being the third uh, out of the entire thing. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Briko, if you can you think... quickly raise your hand, I'll just bring you to the stage. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Thanks. Congrats, Briko. Hey, Briko. Congratulations. Uh, I, I was think... a little messy at the presentation part. Of course, it was my first presentation. So the next time, I'm, I'm looking forward to learning how to present properly. I learned a lot through this. And uh, whether he said it is not my first, it is my first. <laughs> yeah. Superb job, so, superb job, buddy. Congrats. Yeah. So I think just two words about what we loved, right? Uh, we loved how you simplified and a very sharp point of view. These are the main problems I want to solve. And you're very clearly linked into what exact solution will solve that. And on top of it, you brought your creativity around uh, how you'd gamify it and like your UI and everything was super clean and engaging, right? So that just, uh, you were able to think about the entire problem statement and also deliver on that uh, outcome pretty well. So that's just something we loved uh, from what you did. So uh, congratulations again. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. For awesome. So that that brings me to now, sorry. You the second something. position. Yes. So getting to the second position, so I would like to congratulate Ravi Shankar for uh, winning the second prize. Uh, so Super congrats, Super. congrats, Ravi. Ravi, if you can also quickly raise your hand, I'll bring you to the stage. Yeah. So, so thanks a lot, Ravi, for uh, uh, this. Few things we loved. I think you had a really brilliantly done uh, competitor analysis. I think you actually drilled down the most critical parts of it, which are relevant and didn't get lost into every single thing a competitor did. But it's a very critical thing, right? As a product manager, you are basically thinking of the business and you, and you doubled it up based on even the ideas you came up with. You actually made a business case out of it which was super uh, impressive in such a short amount of time with limited data you have. I feel a lot of our internal PMs with data might even struggle on doing that part. So you doing that outside in without a lot of data available, it was just amazing. And uh, that's, some, that's a skill 
everyone I think should think about like how do you build a business around it? Those people are the most successful uh, product managers because eventually if you want to be into a product driven company, product drives the business, right? So that's very clearly done by you. So again, congratulations and for doing an amazing job over there. Congrats. I think there's some audio issue with you, uh, Ravi. Uh, but congrats. Congrats to you. Yeah, we cannot hear you. Maybe maybe from the network issue. Congrats. Congrats, man. Awesome. Uh, so this this brings me to the the first uh, first prize winner, I think. Uh, and I would like to congratulate uh, Soham for this. Uh, so... So congratulations fun. Soham for winning the product tear down uh, at least for, for the Apna case and yeah Soham if you can raise your hand I'll bring you to the stage yeah hi thank you so much uh, so uh, Soham what just stood out was first like for me your energy was amazing like it was just yeah. Like I, I was energized when you were talking, right? So just that positive energy, passion, which you brought into your presentation just is as important, right? As you go into larger companies, actually selling your idea, not just to your manager, to the engineering POC you'll be working with. Everyone is super important. And I could feel that energy when you were presenting. And that is super important to motivate everyone around you. Product managers for the hard part, they're, they don't directly manage too many people, which basically means your skills and ability to influence a lot of people is super important. And I could feel I was getting influenced by the way you were uh, articulating your thoughts. And apart from that, I think I love the breadth of ideas. I think we all were discussing the same. We love the breadth of ideas and also a lot of practicality of those. The prepare icon was very unique, right? Like it, it just resonated Hey, like, for a job, you would either prepare or directly apply. It made a lot of sense. Your idea of how we should think about learn English group and break it into three very clear use cases was also really practical and something we feel hey, it seemed like the right thing to do. Right? When you think about it now, you feel, oh, yeah, well, that seems so obvious thing to do. And that's while it's not obvious, uh, but that's what uh, Karthi was mentioning. Like right? Great PMs have an ability to give a simple solution to a complex problem. So when somebody sees a solution, they don't think, oh, yeah, there is nothing great in it. But actually, the complexity and simplifying it is super critical. And you were able to do it brilliantly in your presentation as well. Thank so, you so again, much. would like to congratulate you for an awesome job. And also thanking, also thanks to uh, thanks to you and everyone else also who basically gave a fresh perspective to what we are doing. This gives us a lot of energy seeing the such broad participation on this, like, helps us think about our mission and feeling that we are in the right direction. If a lot of smart people like you are taking your time to talk about us and think about us. So that gives us a lot of positive energy as well. And uh, so just last thing. Uh, so obviously the top three candidates, our TA team will reach out for the interview next steps. And also broadly, we'll figure out for all the other participants. Uh, uh, we have your work. So our uh, talent acquisition team will be in touch uh, with the folks uh, uh, on this. So de uh, definitely be on the lookout of that. But congratulations again. Congratulations, so Thank you so much. Really nice presentation. So really nice thoughts. Yep. Thanks. And, Congrats. Uh, yep. and thanks to Abhay to you as well for getting this all coordinated. And then like um, you are really super responsive at all the queries that I shoot at your side. Thanks, thanks. Okay. Really thanks that we could do this with Apna and uh, looking forward to the future partnerships also with the product force team. Yeah. Sure. Thanks, thanks everyone who joined the session. Thanks to the participants also and especially congratulations to the winners. Uh, with this, we come to the end of this session. Uh, thanks, thanks everyone for joining. Yeah. Thanks everyone. Good night, folks. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Good night. Good night. Yeah.